up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex Peak. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. Boy, we got a motherfucking guest today. We do. Uh, uh, highly requested. Highly requested. Yes. Mm-hmm. Highly, highly Look requested. Look at her. She got nails done. Like, I got the hell. Girl. The for y'all. It's the Jackie, daddy. everything. I it's giving you to not come to play. So, we got <laughs> Mona, a.k.a. Don't Call Me White. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Oh. When I tell you, the people have been blowing us they up. Have. They have. been waiting. Because I think they wanted us to talk, just like have girl talk. Because we did the 85 show mm-hmm. together, yes, which was lit. It was fun. We yeah. had a good time. But they the was summer. like, they just, you know, sometimes they just want to see, the, wanna see the girls together. Yeah. No, they really do. They do. So for the people, everybody obviously knows who you are, but you know, I got to let them, I got to let you give yourself <laughs> a proper introduction. So for the people who don't know who you are, let them know who you are. Mink, mink. I'm um don't call me white girl. Mm-hmm. I'm a comedian. I'm an influencer. Um, I'm a podcaster. I know that's right. Um, I don't know. I'm just a funny girl. I'm an internet bitch. I come from Instagram. <laughs> funny is fun. Yeah, look, I'm a little raw with it, but um, you know, I'm a girl's girl though. That's why I think people want to see us yes. together. Yeah, because I'm all for the girl. I talk a lot of shit, but I'm like on the girl side about right. everything. But I think that's what a lot of people like have I know I misconstrued that about you as well like, did you yes because I feel like a lot of times women judge us they do so I be nervous to do stuff with other women cause I'm like they don't know like we cool as fuck and we just keep yeah, back I think but like when we came into the show you were so nice and you mm-hmm. was like what's up girl yeah. like I was like oh she a baddie like us like we yeah. know yeah. Beautiful, we like I, I feel Thank like you. when you so look you. when you look like that People assume shit. They do. They do. Yeah. They do. Which sucks though, because I feel like people never want to give you like a fair chance. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. They don't. But I, I just feel like for me, like, you know, like I like I love beautiful women, so it's like a bonus to be around beautiful women. Some women feel like intimidated by that. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, no, I aspire to be. You know what <laughs> I know what that's right. And I think with me, because even sometimes I get nervous because it's like I go viral looking crazy a lot. Like all the memes on Twitter, all that is one lash, I'm smoking, you know. One but that's on so I feel like the glow up, it. that's when the hate, because I get a lot of love, but that's when the hate going to come. Yeah, oh, yeah, because I feel like, but that's also because a lot of people aren't confident enough to go on the internet. I feel like just being a true, authentic self. Yeah. Like, because I ain't going to lie, I don't know if I can go on the internet with one lash. <laughs> one lash, which I will pull So I applaud that, because I, I don't know, since I be having to put my little lashes on. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I'm in my natural state. <laughs> right. She done woke up, put a little concealer on. Little lashes. Brushed her hair. She like, this is yeah, how no, I woke up. No you makeup. never go on the internet without... No, she's playing. I always... So, but the one we lash you wouldn't do. We have plenty of episodes with no makeup yeah, on. Yeah, like... And so it's early, more just the... Just this regular grown-up, I'm going to have both lashes before I post. That's normal. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to okay. have both lashes. But I definitely will come on with no makeup. We oh, both yeah. done did episodes with no extensions. Like... Ball. That's when I had no hair. I used to be a <laughs> did ball. Did you come at you? Everybody was like, oh my God, I was so scared to film that. Well, I, I really was. was. People like love it. that. I feel like you bring in a they, whole different audience. Yo, yeah. you do bring all them good grand rising bitches, yeah, but I yeah. like me a wig. But I will say this, honestly. I like me a wig, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, uh, Shaquita. You know what I mean? <laughs> when I cut my hair, though, everybody was like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. So much. like, bitch, I'm going through a mental fucking breakdown. <laughs> yeah. I shaved off my hair, Rapper Bay. Me and Rapper Bay was going through it, bitch. You I had, did, but you had your <sighs> short haircut for so long. Uh, oh, girl. Girl, speaking of Rapper, Rapper Bay is back. We in love. I, that's my man. I love him down. Love him down. I went to uh, Houston this past weekend. I just got back yesterday. And we are back in action. I know what I said. Fuck what I said. I'm a liar. Y'all know I lie a lot. But that's my man, period. I'm, and I'm here for that. So... Hmm. <laughs> I want a rapper. I really want a really? rapper. Oh, no, you don't. No, yes, you I, do. I, I done had one. I already Ooh, got a list. Don't. I don't care how many of y'all had. I want one. <laughs> Let me Since get one and let me say one. what I said. No, let me see no, what I no, said. Let me say what I said, goddamn. Exactly. I, I want to try one. Because you have to let people try things. You, do, you, you do. know what I'm saying? I think you should. Yeah, and then he's like, I feel like you can rap too. Like, I you can rap. Really? Put me in the fucking yeah, studio. The studio. Oh. Everybody from Philly rap. My grandma can rap. I know Yo, that's right. No bullshit. Rap. My grandma rap. So you've never that dated a rapper. <laughs> you've never dated a rapper. No, I've dated like never? low level rapper. Come on. All these niggas rap. <laughs> I've dated a rapper, but I've never made a rapper that made no noise. You yeah, know, I date, yeah. I date like jaded, I hate Jay Z rappers. Oh, like, okay. Like oh, okay. we can't. You know, I'll yeah, never, I'll never go corporate. Yeah. Nobody buy the mixtape rapper. <laughs> It's just me That's listening. That's why you ain't going corporate. I'm Nobody's buying this to YouTube. I date them kind of rappers. I am dead, but I feel like everybody has to have a little. You gotta like if you're like a bad bitch. 
You know what I'm saying? And you got a little following. Everybody has to have like at least one athlete and at least a rapper under your belt. A I'm lawyer great. or a doctor too. I don't have no I athletes. ain't never dated no lawyer. Lo- 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 mm. Come on, little Perky. Spit I it know, out. girl. It be the wine early. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never dated no lawyer, I don't think. Maybe or a doctor. doctor. That's what I said. I dated a doctor before. I definitely like was like but what's, talking the, what's to your a definition of dating though? Y'all fucked. Y'all went on a date. We was fucking. All right. All right. Calm down. <laughs> I don't think I would be interested in like a doc, like a professional. What if like he like that. from the hood? Like what if he like a reformed hood nigga doctor? I would love. No, hood I nigga would doctor. love reformed <laughs> hood nigga like in law, but on the defense side. Like okay. I couldn't date a prosecutor. I couldn't date a cop. Mm, oh, you have to name that defend the people that's guilty. Not to right, oh. not to mention innocent until proven guilty. Like, a- amen, amen. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I feel like like cops and probation they're just weird and they this they gonna yeah. be mad as shit. I say this, but y'all are strange dudes, like the POs and all that, because a lot of them get into that job for like power they want to be mm. in control of people so they you really get that as the group and they want to tie you up mm-hmm. you know a pop I would, up date try a to dirty cop. I would never date a PO I would date a dirty cop like Denzel on training day he look like he beat that shit up he That's had crazy. a hard day of fucking niggas over he come on mad you get some good then dick he come home mad at you and beat you Book up your That's ass. Fine. <laughs> yeah let's like the fight ass. yeah I, I remember that from like the summer fight. she liked the fight That's fine. Mm-hmm. So it ain't nothing. Do they give you shit when you say that? Do they what? like when you say stuff about? Oh, hell yeah, they, they hate definitely that. do. Yes, they hate it. I feel like depending on where you come from, because of course domestic violence is wrong here at Poor Minds. We don't support. But we need thank you, girl. We, we like, do like, of course not we don't. To that. But if you grow up in certain areas and certain situations, you might have wrestled your eighth grade boyfriend in your prom day. I and definitely somebody stabbed else. a nigga in third grade. I stabbed Burn. somebody too. Yeah. I stabbed With somebody before. Wow. Did you go to alternative school? No, I didn't. See, you was cute. I, w- I was, um... <laughs> That's I went, why I let that shit slide. Well, I went to they a They locked your ass up. You was big and fat. You, you had to go to an alternative school? You motherfucking school? right. I've been to alternative school. Yes. I was a big girl, One of my too. boyfriends went to alternative school. You was big? Because he was selling yeah, drugs on campus. I was, I was big most of my life. I, used to, I was like... The biggest I ever was like 285. Really? Big bitch. Husky. How all tall, ass. How tall are you? I'm tall, though. I'm Y'all about the same height. Yeah, we're the same height. Yeah. We're the same Isn't height. it fun being tall? I love it. Like, we could sure imagine not being able to reach nothing at the market. I will say this. I used to be <laughs> now, insecure. Why am I, in it? I used to be insecure about my height though. Were you Me insecure t- about your height growing up? In your fucking feet, cause you bigger than everybody, and we get tall first. Everybody looking at you all funny. You in the pictures all big as yeah, shit. Third grade. I was in third grade like these. That shit gotta, you know, blend together. Yeah. You look good, but that you know, it's a little it's a journey. When you was taking pictures, they all just have to stand Y'all was you by in the, the teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was always standing by the teacher. They was like, she had an assistant, nigga. I'm six. <laughs> I'm almost this tall, probably sixth, seventh grade. I was grown, full body, thick, all that, like a Else who try to holler at me. It was yeah, a lot. I was a big crazy. Girl. Yeah. I, told I feel like when you tall, even your weight disperses kind of better. Like when you gain weight and oh, look a yeah. little better on you. So I think that's the advantage of being tall because no shade, but the petite girls, okay. they get big, despicable me. Bam. Ooh. It's an egg. You know what I mean? Oh, I say that. But let me tell you, I say Y'all that all well. the time. <laughs> like when you're short, it's a thin line between being thick and getting chubby. Fast. You have to really watch your weight because yeah. the way weight is going to look on me is going to look completely different on y'all. For sure. But your body type is also different. Like when you gain weight, you don't gain no weight in your waist. Like it just all happens to go to your ass. Prior to me getting surgery, true. No, but I know. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. But your body has always been like that, even before I mean, surgery. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I feel like before I got lipo, I definitely gained, would gain weight in my waist. You look good, though. Your thighs match. Because you know how them Thank bitches' you. thighs That's because I'm naturally thick. But mm-hmm. see, that's what I mean. It's Don't for, get her started. The girls that, are, thick as fuck. The girls that <laughs> transform from like super thin to thick, mm-hmm. child, you got to do a lot of work with that. Yeah, you got to fuck with the thigh and chick, hip, the ass. chicken little. It's bad. Them angles is fucked up from the, like the horizontal one, that ant body, you know like what I mean, it. with the little leg. We and then they like got that. the thigh gap with all the ass and no leg. We gonna call this episode a bug slide. <gasps> Not a bug slide. She is creative. That's good. <laughs> No shade to y'all. That's, like, that's good. No, I saw, I saw. Shout out to Dream Doll. Dream Doll was so pretty. Somebody was fucking wearing the comments. You know what that feel like. And mm-hmm. she was just honest. She was like, "Yo, your thighs don't match." She was like, "Bitch, every time I get fat added, when I work out, it go away." I'm mm-hmm. like, "Can you imagine paying for fat and then you it goes away because you working that's out?" Up. That's why I don't touch gyms. That's why I don't touch gyms. That's I don't stupid. care. Just I feel like, like just go do. get your body. Just go get your shirt. And I, I'm not saying don't your work shirt. out. Your surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pro I'm surgery too. Me too. I'm pro surgery. I'm pro surgery. I'm pro surgery. Period. Period. Love it I'm pro surgery. I feel like 
it's not your responsibility to tell me, but it's also like, bitch, stop with the gym posts and all that. And when I say to you, because we friends now, because we get our nails in there, I go, you know, you heard to go to church. Just what? I've never, like, yes, you did, girl. Yeah. yeah. I hate that. You I hate when people bloody. lie about it. Just bloody don't say nothing at all. Yeah, just, just don't, don't comment on Nobody owes you that. I mean, when you're an influencer, you kind of give yourself to the people. So you give yourself to the blogs and all that. You don't owe it. But like, don't lie, bitch. And say yeah. you was drinking flat tummy tea, girl. The yeah. girls love some flat tummy tea. Now. I feel like ain't nothing wrong with you know going to the gym to maintain, but keep you it. One, but if somebody asks you, keep it one hundred that you got surgery though. Yeah. You know, you think so? Yeah, I don't even feel like you have to answer, but don't be fake about it, bitch. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't just be like, oh yeah, I've been working out, I've been grinding. This is why my body look like that. That's well, how you know you had surgery. That's, That's how I, mean. I was a stupid girl. I used to believe that shit. So like in 2014, 2015, I was in the gym tough. I'm thinking like, you're you gonna achieve that man, look. No. The gym squat like That's a the worst part. It's impossible. It's literally to get them dimensions are fucking yeah. impossible. That's yeah, the yeah. mean part that, of it. I had no ass and I had thunder thighs. Mm-hmm. Niggas was like, I walk up to them like, damn, she think I turn around and be like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> but you it know what girls with that. ass that don't have thighs that they kill, you know what I mean? They kill for. Yeah, we women, we rough on each other I about shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. up. Like once I started like getting out like I worked at the strip club and I started getting the tea the girls would let me know like girl that ain't real that ain't real these girls are not being in the gym I said oh they don't they be lying I was put on I was I was hip what's up y'all it's your girl Lexi and it's your girl Dre and Nicole and y'all know we gonna tell y'all every time about Hello Fresh. yes we love Hello Fresh. you know me and Lex be so busy mm-hmm. we be having so much going on so I love the fact that I can get pre-portioned ingredients delivered straight to my door and I can skip going to the grocery store yes and the best thing about it is that everything is fresh it travels straight from the farm to your door within a week so just because you're doing convenience does not mean you're skimping on the quality okay absolutely and they have so many options so if you bitches here or if you're trying to be calorie smart or if you even want a little gourmet because you want to be fancy they got all that mm-hmm. I made that Italian chicken over the lemony spaghetti mm-hmm. busting it was I, I mean, love me a little I love a little lemony that's what I'm saying Some. it was given restaurant vibes mm-hmm. the, the girls didn't know you know what I'm saying I thought you was Emerald Lagasse you know what I'm saying so make sure y'all go to hellofresh.com slash poorminds14 and use code poorminds14 and get up to 14 free meals and three gifts so that's HelloFresh.com slash PoorMinds14 and get your grill on. Okay, so let's get into these topics. Yes. The first thing I wanted to talk about is because this is just a long... Beef. It, not a beef. It is a beef. It's, it's not beef. a beef. It is beef. It's beef. It's not a beef. Because you from Philly. Yes. Everybody talks about like, oh, the East Coast is better. This is where it needs to be. This is where y'all need to stay. The New Yorkers, Philly, like all them up there mm-hmm. versus the South. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about the East Coast versus the South. Mm-hmm. Everything when it comes to it. The women, food, niggas, music. music. Okay. Well, first of all, Atlanta food sucks. So I that's, agree. It do. I but agree. But that's the thing because I, you know, my, my scope of the South is really Atlanta because I haven't been a bunch of places. I've been to Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. And I had a terrible time. Really? Why? The, but the food, the barbecue wasn't busting? Child, you know what I felt like? You know how back in the slave days that one nigga tell on you when you run? <laughs> That's the type of niggas I met in Memphis. I okay. Like, we had a bar, right? <laughs> Full white. St- it's a hotel Wait. bar. Wait. And it's fully. Yes. You know niggas used to do that. Massa, he's a running massa. <laughs> That person, that was somebody's grandfather. That yeah. shit trickled down. Yeah. Right. Honestly, being a snitch is hereditary. It is. <laughs> it's not even, no, it's worse than snitch. It's like, Massa, we are sick of Massa. And I don't get it fucked up. Like, shout out to the slaves. Mm-hmm. But when, you know, you had to do what you had to do, Sorry. right? I don't think none of them going to hear this. I, I don't know. You never know. According to them natural bitches, them people here. The spirits and the ancestors, that's what we do it for. I talk to the grandmother the bitches. Yes. Either way, you know, of course, the slavery is really shitty. It's a terrible time. But, Nigga, you ain't when everybody left. I wish we could kill this motherfucker. You ain't right. do that with us. You a bitch. And your grandson is probably a bitch too. Right. Or a state trooper. Mm-hmm. Either way, <laughs> for me, you know, like, I'm like the slave that's bucking. Yeah. You know, because the worst part about that whole that's thing. I feel like no, I would have been too. I, I definitely would have You wasn't would've... the slave that was bucking because you Look was inside. Her. This is racism. You was cooking this the cornbread. This is racism. This is racism. You was in the shade. She probably still would have been bucking out. She was in the shade. You know what's sad about that? The truth we was is, outside. For real, the truth. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You wasn't outside. I would have been in the house, but I'm working from the the bottom of this, like the bottom of that man balls, because a lot of stuff went down in that house. You're nasty right, things. You're right. And the thing about slavery is, they don't tell us. 
Dre is gonna be fucked up by then. They don't tell us right about a lot of the shit that we did back, like slaves grinding up glass and putting it in the soup and killing the whole goddamn table. Now that's what I like. They hear things like that because they didn't want to start. Revolt. We love mm-hmm. a villain. Mm-hmm. We did shit back. You know what I'm right, saying? Sometimes right. we pop the fuck off too. Yeah, because you, you know what I mean. To. I mean, the only Y'all one that was really beating my ass what was the, the only one. The only revolt that was like really, really known was what's his uh, Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Yeah, that was yeah, the only that's one documented. That, yeah. yeah, but you got you figured they putting out material you can't read it's a reason they don't want us to educate us they don't want us to know how to get around that's why we're using stars and shit niggas are some right. survivalists <laughs> we can be I'm in the hot to be sun funny. did y'all hear about how they like how we started cornrows they used to braid maps in the back of bitches heads and they like yes i have take a that. left take a right that's creative and turn fun. at the river but that's why we special that's, that's what i'm creative. saying when it comes to the black race like that's one thing about us we take struggle with stride. We do. We're talking about 100 degrees. You waiting on a ladle full of warm water with, you know, it's particles in there. Mm-hmm. Everybody sharing it. And you still singing. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what we That turned into the blues. Water. That but that turned into a now. fucking genre. You know, know what I mean? The blues, because they was blue. This shit we're was sad. Very, we're Not special people. Blue, I don't know how we got there. <laughs> we did, I, Welcome I to I my world. Well, we don't do fucking I was asking about some ribs. I was asking about the ribs and we didn't want to know about the ribs and beefies because we talk about the food. I didn't have ribs. Okay, thank you. See, y'all can bring me. Back. <laughs> no, we didn't have ribs. It wasn't even about the food. It was just the energy. Like mm-hmm. being in that hotel was a fully black staff. It was all white people. And like we did, we were on their second drinks. So we didn't get our first. Like it was straight. Like wait now till Mr. Thomas get his stuff. <gasps> oh, yeah. Not Mr. Thomas. Listen, down to the shuttle guy. We like got to the shuttle first. White guys go first. Like it was just what? like this is blatant race. We from Philadelphia. You know what I mean? Like relax. So I feel like that energy is like like that's the kind of energy I kind of feel. In like, the South. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's See, more but we gotta take her to Houston. You gotta yeah, come to take Houston. Me to Houston. You gotta come to Houston. Uh, we got a few. I got a few. I got a few. You know what I'm saying? He done did a few tracks. We can get you a we can get you better than a feature rapper. Hey, that's perfect. I'm in the same age. Bun B. 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 Bun B
me. I think that's yeah. Oh, that's I'm sorry, uptown. it's uptown. That's Excuse like my Washington Heights, right? I'm sorry yeah. to all the New Yorkers. Damn, I thought Dykeman was Brooklyn. <laughs> that means like, that I, summer thing. Everybody going to summer, I was right? Like, Wait a minute, yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> no, I um. I can't really. I think I just can't really speak on the subject. I remember I came to Atlanta years ago, and we went to Bankhead because we—that's how much we didn't know. And that's before. This, I'm that old. That's before you did the GPS thing, child. You had the map quest it. Okay. You print it out and put it I in the bank. Okay. And then after the second blunch, you lost the paper. But and I now y'all like just on your own. Bankhead was lead. Lit as a motherfucker. Yeah. T.I. had a club called Crucial. The line hey. down the street. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still around? <laughs> Crucial Damn. is very much still up here. Well, that's a motherfucking staple. <laughs> that was a thousand years ago. That nigga is doing well. Shout out to Tip. <laughs> I don't know if still on it. Clubs are going to stay open. long, like no, past yeah, two, three summers. But I, Atlanta is different, though. Like, Atlanta, the clubs, like, they be open out here. Like, they be open. I will say that clubs in Atlanta have longevity. <laughs> yes. In Houston, the clubs be the same way. They be open for like two, three months. Then Changing you got a new name, club. Different mm-hmm. set of drug dealers, mm-hmm. fake on it. Listen, <laughs> honestly, never made it inside. Some big shit. I was like, this is the shit. We coming back. And it's still oh, like that. Two days straight, never made it and shot that motherfucker up. But the, I, listen, the parking lot was lit. You know, the parking lot is the whole thing sometimes. We had a ball out that bitch. Went to a soul food restaurant. Raggedy ass motherfucker, dirty as shit. Platter four ninety five. almost licked the cellophane. I ain't playing with you. What kind of food was it? Baked macaroni, collard greens, mm-hmm, yams. That's mm-hmm. my thing. And it was good. What? I can't eat baked macaroni without yams. That's an automatic to me. Yeah. So I have to get both if I get one. Mm-hmm. Then I want collard greens. And then, you know, whatever. But one, I'm sold off of that and I haven't found that here you know what I eat a lot here what lamb chops I've had them boiled lamb chops everywhere chop. that's all they sell <laughs> out here deep lamb. fried <laughs> slides small ones now lollipop <laughs> chops buffalo fries have you had a lollipop chop yet? I have had no, a lollipop, lollipop chop you lollipop had chop. that in Cheetah didn't you I don't know where I was at hun. I'm tired of the, lo- the, la- the lamb lo- <laughs> that's dead. crazy y'all don't get tired of that shit nah, where yeah. do you eat good food at I'm talking, we in Atlanta, I can't get fish and grits out this motherfucker. You can't get no good Mexican food neither. No, you cannot. I love some, I love Mexican food. Me too. I hate the reaction because the guys, y'all can't hear the guys and make what? Yeah, but tell a nigga, I'm making posts. Where's sad Atlanta? Where I'm gonna lie, where do I go? Nothing. But I will say, you talked about the cheesesteaks earlier. In Philly, yeah. Yeah, but we got cheesesteaks out here because Big Dave, he from Dave from Philly. Philly. He, out Big Dave. Dave. Yeah, he is, but that's literally the only good cheesesteak place in Atlanta. But All we, the other places that Claim they sell cheesesteaks. That shit be trash. Yeah, you like you've been to Philly before. But what I'm saying yeah. is, it's if we're talking deal. about yeah. East Coast versus the I South, like we got cheesesteaks now because the main nigga that was in Philly doing the good cheesesteaks is here. Hold up with the main. Well, he ain't he the here. main. Well, he just, yeah, he I don't know. Cheesesteaks is good. I don't know. No, because she she was been to Philly I went to Philly one time. Never. All I did was go to the little bell, the little crack bell. I was in like third grade. Why? I'm about to say, why would you go over there? I was in third grade. Okay, so y'all went to the I was like, Thomas Jefferson was here. I was amazed. I was a little, I was a square. I was yeah. No, that's, that's, that's a good Everybody thing. Everybody was laying me third. Right. Right. Like, I was yeah. like, the Declaration of Independence. Right. I was ex- very excited. You got A's and shit. Yeah. Uh, you, I got what? A's. No. Oh, A's. I, I am. Said, no, I am queen. queen. Just got tested. No. A, A straight A's. Oh, yeah. I was a very good kid. Like, I was literally a square until I met her. Damn, you did. Girl, first of all, that's Are a motherfucking lie. When I met her, she was working in a strip club. Doing what? Shaking ass? A little bit of both. Well, I, thought she, I thought she was a bartender. That's what I All thought. All right. Okay, so let's talk about... You know, back in my day, the bartenders was ugly bitches, and they did they poor drinks. Now, the, the bartenders, the star they got thongs on oh, with bands. Oh, I be talking about that all not, the time, because I used to get bartending at Starless and shit in New York a few years ago. Now, the bartenders make way more money than the strippers. Well, first of all, because now, you know me, it got to go... You know, you can't be... You, they do a paper bag test up there. You can't dance... My experience, my girlfriends, my peers that dance up there experience like crazy colorism. Really? You had to be my color or foreign or mixed to even get the dancer, whatever. But the star tenders make more money, so it even out. But that shit is like open up there where it's just like... You ain't Puerto Rican. You're not getting up here. Not Puerto Rican. Look at the pages. Look yeah, what they promote. I mean, and tell you count how many dark skinned chocolate girls you see. But, we but talk, that's everywhere. We I feel talk, like that's an issue in Houston too. We've talked about this. Like me being a bartender for all the years that I was a bartender. It's like I used to get hired at so many places all the time. And then it would be other girls, you know, that were dark skinned. So it would be like, oh, I could never. They would never hire me up there. And I just think that shit is so weird that they're so selective about who they want to hire. You a bad bitch though. I feel like you even are. if you don't hire brown skinned you gonna get dressed yeah y'all. It's giving, but it's still you know the edges, is the edges up, and that's what I used to always I think it. too. I hate it. It's Yo, ridiculous. edges definitely give a little Dominican. She could. Go. My I wanted edges to say give that. 
African, but she got good edge control. <laughs> it's a little difference. You know what I'm saying? This lady edges African, is way. No, I'm just saying like you can lady. tell the difference between good edge control and good jeans. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it's a little different. But when I used to bartend in New York, it definitely used to be like me and maybe one other mm. brown skin girl, you dark feel skin me? girl. That's crazy to me. And to Everybody me, else was Puerto Rican I and shit. I love the strip club. I tip. You know what I mean? I don't want to just tip the yellow bitches. Yeah. If I want to see a big, thick, yellow, sweaty bitch, I look in the mirror. Let me see the chocolate. <laughs> Can I see? I want to see something different. See. But see, you different. I think most people, though, that's what they want to see. That's why they no, accommodate them. No way. I, I definitely, it's no way that most of those guys are looking for light skin. There's no way. I, I think that's just like, I don't know. I just think it's part of that subculture or whatever because a lot of those owners are, they're not black. You know what I mean? They not up there, yeah. So, and then like I said, New York is literally, you can get seven different kind of Latin women. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if you can do that, you know. But, but one thing I do like about you, like that, all we got is mixed skins. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do like about her is, but <laughs> that's all we you got. All, like you, you honestly, say you, um, like, you know the light skin privilege and you, like, speak on it and you be like, no, this is a difference. Mm-hmm. Like, I love that because a lot of light skin girls, they be like, what are you talking about? I was discriminated against. Really? People used to make fun of me. Like, yeah. And I do they think wanna, a lot of light skin girls did get made fun I mean, yeah, of, too. They did. But it's different from how darker skin girls get made fun yeah, of. This it's is, very different. This is how I explain it. First of all, I'm all black. That's where the Don't Call Me White Girl name comes from because it's like, where I'm from. You ain't got no, no little Peter of there, course nothing, of no. course I do we all of course do I do. Mr. you know what I'm saying and it's not like me shit the story is so <laughs> sick Nigerian to decor your African yeah girl please and, uh, uh, is she fucking joking or not? yeah she kidding okay all so right. you're black you're black girl okay <laughs> at the end of the day right like you know where I'm Not from. Not your lies be so believable. I know. That's how I lie. I'm Somebody a good Somebody was like, damn, I didn't know you were Nigerian. I said, yes, girl. What's your sign? Nigerian. What's that sign? Leo. <laughs> a Le- oh, y'all motherfuckers, boy. What's your sign? Aquarius. Mm. Y'all motherfuckers. Exactly. Yes, yeah, terrible child. I ain't say I wasn't terrible. I just said y'all terrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The ones with dicks. It's the ones with dicks. The girls are a little yeah, different. I'm yeah. Like, we, we have bonded. Yeah. You yeah. called me early in the morning. We had a good conversation. We did. We I was did. in the bed with my BDB. I was like, let me answer the phone because this is my... Like, we, yeah, we she had a moment. She answered our surprise. Niggas don't answer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm jealous. Like not y'all, but... Uh, we were, are you, we Dre? Okay. Listen, that's the thing and I feel, and I wanted to say that earlier when y'all were like, I, don't, I didn't know because I'm a comedian. People obviously they want to like mm. bust jokes or judge whatever, but me too because I'm aggressive. People think I'm going to just come, bitch, put your motherfucking hands up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I'm not that person that's mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. most of the time you see me snapping, that person did something to me. I don't, I don't even, when I'm doing stand up, like pick with people. Yeah. Like I might pick with you if you you right, know what I mean yeah. but other than that like I'm really like cool you already bitch. be having your jokes but the colorism exactly yeah, I'm not searching right. for material mm-hmm. job you know how don't know I what do. to say <laughs> <laughs> if Miss ain't have on Bobo you know they set that whole thing up y'all to be the cousin Ooh. wear the cowboy boots I ain't gonna tell the business mm-hmm. let's keep it moving what I'm saying is is that I grew up with white girl. This child used to call me Monica Lewinsky. When I first got into sewing. <gasps> Scandalous. Wow. Not for sucking dick. That's the thing. That oh. was the worst part. Oh. Monica Lewinsky. Because it would have been a compliment if it was for sucking dick. <laughs> Can you imagine sucking know. the president's dick? If a you bitch, if a me bitch called me Monica Lewinsky, I'm that jokes on, on you that you thought that was an insult. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I suck Bill Clinton's dick. You can't tell me nothing. Can't tell me shit. That sh- was such a wild situation. La, 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 la. Niggas <laughs> can't tell me nothing. Like, you can't tell me I sucked a president's dick. Come correct. They sent that bitch blazer to a lab to I'm- test the cum stain. It got crazy. You had to Lit. be there. It was, was a wild there. time. It was yeah. a wild time. Was. But anyways, back to the colorism. Let, let's focus, ladies. Um, let's focus. <laughs> no, for me, it's like I really, really love my people a lot. Mm-hmm. And I and I came up in a time where it's like my peers will have a big ass, you know, portrait of Marilyn Monroe in the mm-hmm. living room. You know what I mean? You got daughters. They growing up looking at this blonde hair, blue eyed bitch. And she mm-hmm. beautiful. She gorgeous. But she also was a drug addict and fucked people's husbands and was involved in the mob. Mm-hmm. So it's like, what are you looking up to her for? Her beauty or what? Or what? Mm-hmm. I just think that beauty standard of blonde hair, straight hair, even us. Like, it's a reason why we wear the straight hair. It's that European influence, right? Right. But either way, for me, it's like, bitch, put Dorothy Dandruff up there. Teach them children about somebody black and beautiful because a lot of black people. Stop mm-hmm. changing. Your name should Queen of Kardashian. It's motherfuckers <laughs> with children named Mason. You know, naming your kids is just like 
the biggest surgery right now, billion dollar energy, right, mm. is for lips, hips, and ass. Right. Mm-hmm. People paying all this money to look like us. Right. And we still and running we around still chasing look like us. Look, so don't call me no white girl, because first of all, they look terrible in the press lately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And second of all, I'm thinking I really enjoy it. You know, they had a bad run in 2020 where everything was supposed to. That shit been going on. But no, they've been had posted. a bad run for life. <sighs> Period. Because I watched the Janet Jackson <laughs> documentary the other day, and they used to say how they would change, they would tape her boobs down. They would try to just kind of water down her look so she could fit into what these other girls were looking like. Mm-hmm. Janet Ben, you know how we all had an awkward stage? She never had one. Never. Gorgeous. That girl has she's been, been beautiful, beautiful her whole life. Yeah. I don't care what she got done. What she That she lady perfect. has been beautiful her whole life. Sure. So it was just so crazy that they were trying My to... My was about to say Penny Proud with like a word. Penny Proud. But it wasn't her last name. Wasn't Proud. <laughs> Yeah, Penny was pretty. When she got burned with that, yeah, iron. that's what I'm saying. I still, still want to fight that bitch about mm-hmm. that burning that child like that. That's fucked up. She was so scared. She I would have been you would be scared. Yeah, I would have been scared. I just was in the moment. Yeah, <laughs> you know but I, mean? I feel like the beauty standards are. We used to be fucked up, but I'm glad as women, like, we took it back. Because, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Me wearing, like, wigs and sew-ins is not because I want straight hair. It's just because I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. And I don't like doing my hair, but I don't mind wearing my hair. It's yeah. not like I'm embarrassed. Like, it's been plenty of episodes where I had my natural hair out and this and that. But to look, to people that be like, oh, y'all trying to look European, y'all trying to look white, please name w- and I don't mean bitch, to I'm offend anybody. Look like a bad but bitch. please, what exactly. is you saying? What is one feature, I guess, of like traditional, a traditional white person that we would really want? Mm, that was so shady and true. I I'm, like that. But, but, I mean, why the nothing. fuck? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The, mm, no, nothing I could say right now would be nice. Okay, I'm really trying to think. I like that. That's why it's like, don't call me white girl because I'll like be mad. Maybe they thigh eyes. gaps. Thigh they gaps. Eyes. Thigh gaps. They the first bitches with thigh gaps. Thigh gaps. Um, I don't even want a thigh gap though. I like thigh eyes. I like thigh gap. What eye? The I, color? Mm-hmm. Oh, the color. The okay, color. I got a little contact. We can work something. Them out. niggas wouldn't let me buy contacts from the beauty supply. Phelps But you me. have light eyes. No, but see, I that's don't. why I can't they lighter than I was. But I'm Are not gonna they? say I can't even give them eyes because I know a lot of people with light eyes. <laughs> Shit, I ain't know that. Yeah. Bitch, I ain't right. about to start working it. It's giving light brown. It what, is light what, brown. How do Tyra go? You brighten your eyes. You got to smile. Your smile. It's, it's like this. Ooh, Look. A smile. Get it. Get, get right there. Give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. A smile. But you got to squint him a little bit. It's more like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, mm-hmm. No, the puck of the lips. I now. get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was saying was is that no, because I need this to be heard for real. It's mm-hmm. not just oh, I represented up because when I first came out, it was a bunch of red haired ginger, freckled, light skinned people Whoa. like stand up for us. Fuck that, nobody. Because we do experience colorism too. I now, agree. Statistically, yeah. the darker you are in the U.S., the harder you have from getting pulled over to getting a fucking job. But yours don't count mine out in either or. By Vice versa. Just you as my sister, I'm going to sympathize and be empathetic with you first because mm-hmm. you're you're going to get pulled over first, mm-hmm. flat out. And people think that I'm bougie. People think that I'm soft. I had to fight. I fought. My eye All was kicking my life ass I had to fight. since fucking, I'm talking first grade kindergarten fist fighting. And right. for me, it was always like, you know, they think, you know, they just, I don't know why the light skin is like, you just straight, uh, you know, put soft with it. Pussy. And I feel like the men experience it the same kind of way. They do. If you think about it, it would be way better if we could just get together at the same time. I would never date a light skinned man. You know what I mean? It's just, we kind of fucked up. Yeah. Either way, I just think we should like love each other and support each other. And it's like, it irritates me that. I can't make a song and say, yeah, you see this light skin? It's the bright skin because it's a problem. Nah, you was, can was, make a song. That was kind of hard, though. It, I told y'all I could ram for okay. full effort. That's cute. Light that was cute. It's the right skin. skin. But if I make it but, right now, they would drag me. They, they drag, like they drag Danny Lay. Filth. I used that and they dragged me for saying that. I they said, did. Y'all love on this what he won. I said, India no, Ivory. We, we dragged it because that was terrible. That's a, not no, a bar. Y'all no, y'all dragged it because of what she said. Period. Right. Thank you. And you know why they said, Let's this is real. what I said. I said, India Ivory has brown, brown skin. skin and Danny Lee and they ripped First of all, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> Indy, I read. Blah, blah. And a lot of stuff they said were, was right. But the point that they made that really shut me down was that Danny Lee's not a black woman. 
She ain't. She not. And I did think but she was. But if you're not a black, I feel like calling yourself. I thought she was. Me too. I, I thought did. she was light skin. I did it. And the thing about Dominicans, no shade. They don't. They not, love to be yellow bone. Not even they love to be yellow. <laughs> they have the same issues we do. They're very dark. They're very, first of all, they're beautiful. Some of them. And, I, and, say, and, and, and some would say that that's the those are the dimensions that we all get surgery for because them bitches is built like yeah. that. Yeah. Right? Now that's some the Ethiopians. Say, yeah, the Ethiopians. This shit ready get crazy. Oh, it's no. It's going to be a bunch of flags in these motherfucking No, but I will Say this though. I'm about to back Talk, out. Call yourself a I'm yellow scared. bone, a red bone, brown skin, all that stuff. That's in the black community. So if I, you are not a part of the black community, why are you talking about yellow? Bullet, I feel like Ooh. Dominicans are black, but they don't feel like that. And that's why I don't exactly. push that. So if you don't feel like you black, don't claim us and don't come over here when they're talking about some yellow bone. Dominicans and Puerto don't. Ricans are niggas that can swim. Well, I'll <gasps> say. I want to. That's not mine either. I think that's Bernie Mac or something, but that's a fact. Okay. But they Mac swimming was niggas. Dominican? No, no, but that was the joke. <laughs> Nick, um, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, they just niggas that they can black, swim. They oh, it might not have been okay, Bernie, okay. it was somebody. Got you. Because they live on islands, Drea. Come on. No, I know. The funny thing is. <laughs> The funny thing is we never talk about this on the show because I don't really like to talk about being adopted and stuff like that. But, like, my biological dad is Dominican. Ooh, so, tell him. Tell him I do have an accent. I don't have no fucking accent because I don't know that nigga. He in jail. Oh, damn. And he been in jail for my life. And for my whole life. Your adoptive father's been adopted. No, my real, my biological oh, father has been in jail my whole life. And he's... You're Half Dominican. Dominican, yes. So you're Dominican. That's why her edges oh, lay like that. How play Spaniel? We <laughs> said your edges was laid. You was right. I told y'all she, because I she knew. already knew this. This nigga mix. Say how play Spaniel. <laughs> All of, everything we said just went out the fucking window. No. She's a Dominican. That's why. I, okay, but, no, I, but you, I'm not. I'm black. I'm not I grew up with black people, and I'm 75. Black. We will figure it out. She got way more than a f- one drop rule. Now you a little. Questionable. So you say, <laughs> why is she questionable? Because we questioning you. We need to ask you. Cause you know, it's given is, my daddy's is, name. I'm not is it's Thomas giving Creole. Chizinski. My you know, it's giving Creole. I nigga. see yeah. that. I see the Creole thing. Cause you know Beyonce Bees is Christ is mm, Yeah. Um, the truth is, I just don't tell it because it's a, like sticky. But <laughs> my fa- my mother's father, right? Who didn't raise her? Uh-huh. My mother's. This is so Your great. grandfather. Don't you hate to I be that person? I don't fuck with that nigga like I'm that. But he's Cherokee. white. He not white, Lex. Oh. But my mother's father looks just like a white man. Mm-hmm. White hair, green eyes, whatever, right? His mother was from Macon, Georgia, right? Mm. She was a maid. She worked in his Irish guy's house. Sometimes he would rape her. Mm. She ends up pregnant. She leaves Macon, Georgia. She comes to Philadelphia. She hates Philadelphia. She used to leave the window open, allegedly, to try to kill this motherfucker. The story is so shitty. That's why I don't... He lie, He survives. He lives. But he is a black man from North Philly. Talk, walk, smell. But he looks like a white guy. Mm. That's t- technically where it comes from. So mm. I would be a quarter Irish or something like mm-hmm. that. But he wasn't... Like, my grandma was a side bitch. And she was like a teenager, so I don't know him. And then he don't know them white mm. people. So it's just like, and then but you see that bummer that just put this. But what I'm saying, you know like, the bummer that just came like, no, damn, you're gonna like, used to get um, raped. We not gonna call her a side bitch because he wasn't the side bitch by choice. So, so you're a little bit. No, of she Irish. knew it was like she was side bitch. She's like, a teenager though. No. She's a kid. But I feel like when people have like secret identities, like back in there, like do you just like go to a bar and be like, I like Jameson. <laughs> Like all of a sudden you be like, and then you be wondering why. Like you be wondering why. Crazy. Like oh my god, I want to eat some cheese curds. because the Irish. Like, <laughs> I feel like I got white man ears. Like my ears are see. really really long. You see them? They're not long. long. Let me see. Let me see, motherfucker. They're they're long. Long. Oh, they kind of long. I got like, white man ears. They kind of you know. They long as shit. I don't think they long. I feel yeah. like they regular ears. They long, dread. They long. Like, but I hear. I can hear. I can hear. Pin That's why I say we. You gotta. I can hear the nigga next door talking about me. My <laughs> ears are good. You know what I mean? But no, I just I don't. But would you consider that mixed? Yeah. I don't think that that's no, mixed. No. I just think to me, that's it's a parent. part of your ancestry. I think it's your parents. Too. Even I you, I was teasing. You're not mixed. No, your I'm father not. Mixed. Yes. You're Irish. You're Irish. I'm an Irishman. And like, and you look what up, I did. Look what I did like, to tell my story. That's exactly. Let me see. Because growing up, what clothes? Dry. <laughs> growing up, what do we eat? What do we like? You know, we, we got want, a place want, in Houston we called Cloverland. I got to take you there. But I'm saying, take we me. grew up, we wanted like Frosted Flakes. She going in the aisle talking about, let's get Lucky Charms. It's not what happened, y'all. She Lex is making this whole she, thing she's up. She's crazy. They no, I mean, I guess like, and honestly. I'm going to start if, calling you Lucky Charms. If I could <laughs> meet them people or talk to people or whatever, but it's like, that is so impossible. Like I said, I want to do like a story about my life because the stories are crazy. I think you should do one. I said yeah. I would do one too because Tyler Perry need to write that. Cook I that know, chick. that's yeah. right. My life story crazy 
too. Well, we should exchange it one day. We should, just girl. Talk about we it. should chat because my shit going to blow your mind. Yo, and it's, it builds character. It builds, and people would never know the kind of shit people go through. Like, you would, you never, would never know. Assume. Like, And that's why when people find me and they're like, oh, why are you so aggressive? Why are you so mean? It's like, bro, y'all this, know what I mean? All my experiences built the bitch I am. You're lucky I still have a piece of a heart left. Mm-hmm. And I'm not on some DC sniper shit hole in the van. Nah, I'm I'm pl- all right. pl- pl- plucking you motherfuckers off. Nah, facts. But yeah, I mean, shit is crazy. Like, when it. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes back to like the the racism in, within the black community, it's just so fucking crazy mm-hmm. because I think too, even with like being like even with me being darker skinned, I still feel like it's a certain racism even within that because it's like if you're pretty, then they, you're Dominican. Because pretty privilege because is a thing too. Because pretty privilege is a thing too. So it's like if you're pretty, I could be the same color as somebody else. But they like, but bitch, you ain't been through what I've been through. Like, Y'all know what I've been it's through. It's not my fault you like your father or your <laughs> uncle Wayne. That has nothing to do with nothing. At the end of the day, you bitches, ugly bitches, this is for you. You fucking <laughs> push. Don't matter you what do, color. Look at this. Look at this lady. You uh, you <laughs> show what is it? Situate your your good things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't worry about them dry patches on your face and shit. Mm. Cock that shit to the left. Grease it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put the camera back. Ugly bitches have thirty selfies. I'm not ugly. I'm confident. The Lord loves me. No, back that motherfucking camera up. Show a little hip, bitch. If you got a hip, and show what you have versus right. what you I don't agree. have. I agree. You people, right now we're at a time where everybody just looks at social media for every mm-hmm. fucking thing and if you follow on a certain brand and she's feeding you all this bitch you came outside looking like an astronaut with too when much I concealer when I think ugly people I always think of the girl sisters okay who that you never watched the proud family family I'm older than y'all the man family. you ain't watched the proud family no, no I was growing up selling same. crack when the proud family oh, was out I like that you got some alright she used to all right, so it. now she never smoked no crack they don't I play like that she know she be saying I suck a little dig I smoke a little crack See, like up where we from up top, room was stopped. Everybody, what? <laughs> Nobody laid for nothing. It'll be like, I'll be like, like, chill out now. <laughs> chill out now. Come on with that shit. Oh, dang. Low mm-hmm. key, I be feeling that way too. I be like, Craig. That <laughs> East Coast shit, like, it really, we are really different. You know But that's why I say, I feel like, I don't mean to interrupt you. No, you're fine. But the humor, before we move on to the next topic, the humor of East Coast, Fact. like, up, like, down south, people be like, oh, man, like, she funny. I go, I'm cracking joke, niggas be like, so, It'd be like this. Quiet. I think it's just dependent on the think, person. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Who has a, a more open sense of humor? Like, who could take a rough or dirty joke? Because you like me, you say crazy. Yeah, yeah I say she crazy. Does. So, who do you feel are more open to that, East or South? Um, East. I do. I feel Southers like it, don't like I'm that not shit. Lie. Cause Cause we East was Coast people about, are just so aggressive and cut up. I you like, <laughs> that bitch funny as fuck. Well, I, well it's, it's dead ass, son. Word the mother, it so Word the mother. It depends on what I say, though, because I had made a joke about, like... Uh, a segregation joke at the um at the live show. That bitch was funny. I told it to all my friends. I told it everybody. Everybody like, oh, that's funny. When I told them live stage, they was like, oh, I was like, oh, let me move on because they were like, oh my god, your live show wasn't in Texas. Where was it? It was, it it was in Nashville. Nashville. It was, oh, that's so. The, they was, that the whitest place in Texas. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, people Tennessee. flew in. People flew in, but the segregation joke. I said, oh, let me move on. Wow. Like I made a joke about Britney Spears. They didn't like that shit either. It's just like sometimes like we get a little more sensitive to stuff. Do you do stand up? No. Oh, hell no. People just and touch you. Why? Why? Please, mm-hmm. y'all. No, I, like, for me, I have way dirtier jokes than y'all get. And, like, it, I mean, it's, oh, I have so much When you talked about the jail joke, you got so much flack for that. But I mm-hmm. thought it was so what fucking was funny. Joke? She it was saying bad. how jail ain't that bad because you can get your coochie aid. Oh, yeah. You know? Okay, I, I did bitches see that be eating coochie. Me. No, my shit is like. You get like, some free food. You ain't got to worry about your kids. <laughs> I thought it was funny. No bills. No views. Okay. Um, and I nurse come around once a day. You can get your shit checked out. Listen, w- what I will say is my first viral video, the first time I ever went viral was about an ugly baby. And I would get death threats. See your face? Like where we from? You arguing with a bitch? That's why your son leg little. We go there. Yeah, and it's now, not, and it's accepted. But my friend, <laughs> but no, I'm the not nigga totally leg funny. little than the other one, and he limps. Now he got the gimp leg. <laughs> they and he's do. Just like his they dad, take dad shit far. I will say, East Coast people take <laughs> shit far. My friend Diamond is from Brownsville, Brooklyn, and she. Yeah. I don't give a. If you say something to her, if you can have rest in peace, mama. That's why your mama dead. That's bitch. where we go. And she not coming back. Yep. And she was ugly, and she should have killed herself yeah. before she gave birth to you. But yeah, the thing is, that type of shit she'll say. But she that's is dead. dead. That's but no, down. but but your mama is dead. But we don't say stuff like no, that. No, y'all don't. When we, when we pe- don't. But no, it's because true. when people come at us, we'll talk about them. We'll just be like, bitch, you're broke and you're ugly. So you're, like, you're, you're against shook. it. You're against it. I'm. 
I, I'm kind of like in between. Kim okay. relate. She grew up with white people. We definitely told your mama jokes in elementary school. I'm talking about now. You do not talk about people mamas. You don't or talk kids. about people daddies. You don't talk about people I kids. I don't argue with people neither, but if I got in an argument, I might so talk you about it. your mama. You no, with you it, don't. but you don't You're not do like it. that. She not, <laughs> she not like that. Dre I don't know. Not like Why that. you know what I'm like? <laughs> you do not know if I'm cut like that or you, not. Okay. A, she ain't. Real besties fist fight. You ever get that shit on? <laughs> oh, she trying to beat my ass? What? No, me and my best friend knows no bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Dread. Pull over on the highway. What? That's no, my yeah, bitch. Dread, We've been friends for 20 Dread years. Like this. Get out my house, bitch. Oh, you touched Get out my her. House. You're not supposed to touch Dre, That's though. She did. Get on. I didn't hit her. I just said, bitch, go. You gotta go. No, No, Dread. and it was hard. It was like this. No, Dre. You're not supposed okay, to Okay, maybe it was a little hard. It was like, yeah. yeah. I had a Both you bitches stop pushing me. <laughs> Cause That's mama like look where I'm from. I'm being nice to y'all. <laughs> you know, That's I'm not about want. to let y'all push me too many more times, bitch. <laughs> no, look, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we are all about protecting yourself, whether it be from STDs or from these babies. Right. Okay? So, birth control has never been easier to get. So, with the Pill Club, it is a subscription service that delivers birth control straight to your dough. And the Pill Club offers 120 FDA-approved brands. Mm -hmm. And also, birth control, if you don't have insurance, it'll start as low as $7. That's super cheap. You can do everything from the comfort of your own home and the best part about it is that their licensed medical professionals are only a text away yes and they will deliver it to your door in very discreet packaging so people ain't even got to be all up in your business like that mm -hmm. and also right now when you go to thepillclub.com slash poor minds the pill club is offering a ten dollar donation to bedsider.org for every poor minds listener who becomes a patient bedsider.org is something that helps women who can't afford birth control and other things like that it helps them get access to you know the things that we all need as women yes so make sure that you go to thepillclub.com slash poor minds to get your first birth control care package that's thepillclub.com slash poor minds I feel like because I think male friends get it you know they get like that I don't know but that's the rule you don't touch me and my bestie will be no to nose no to nose we, how you else gonna get in each other's shit? I can't get also her no so with her, she might kiss me. She, she knows horny. the titty. No, she but horny. you're taller than her. No, she might be like this. I could me. <laughs> but you laugh <laughs> about the fight after that. That poking, you laugh about that. Yeah, because like I was Let's never where I want. Her. Like it's Let's, so crazy. Want me Let's bad. wants me to want her so bad, she and want, I don't. She want me bad, bro. She she want want me are bad. you nuts? Can I say something? No shade. Can I say something? Go ahead. Do y'all ever like get drunk and finger each other pussies or no, say No, never. She tried to. Only yes. reason I say this is the only reason why I say that because. The, the, she in tried. the generation I'm from, Mona, she lying. we didn't even twerk on each other. Oh, like, yeah. that's a new thing. Like, Mona, you be acting like you 50, bro. Like, relax. Like the like generation it. I'm from. Lord <laughs> knows. I feel like I was mopping and sweet with that. I'm older than you bitches. I'm in my 30s. Me we are too. Girl. This is some bullshit. Cancel this. These bitches look better than me. I'm, I'm thinking y'all young. No, I just turned 30 this year. I'm 32. Boy, I'm I talking about every other city. You ever find out you ugly right in the moment? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cancel this. No more bad bitches on the list. That's the head enough for that. I don't need to be reminded of what the fuck I lack. <laughs> Bitch, I'm bad. Give me some headphones. I belong in the fucking back, clearly. No. Just this is me giving me my fucking arm you right here. These good. Don't fuck that. I really hate that. Where it's like, you say, oh, I feel so ugly. I feel so ugly. And then the pretty girl go, you beautiful. <laughs> That's what we doing. Jesus, Gabe. That's what y'all doing. I want to hear that shit. Okay. I'm all right. But no, all I'm saying are. is I know y'all bitches grown. Y'all bitches grown. Let me change my tone. Don't be putting your hands on me. <laughs> <laughs> she thought we was kids. I thought y'all was like 20s, early 20s. Girl, no, 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 girl. You didn't think I'm 30. She's 32. I swear to God, I would lie to you. Bro. You bitches old like me. We the same age. <laughs> That's why when you said you that, know, I... You know what it is? We childish. You bitches ain't had children. Oh, that's, you why you still, have it. that's why you still got the light on your lies and shit. <laughs> you see that? Let me tell you something. The darkness get to creeping in and setting in, and your I whole face. I still got face, that twinkle, twinkle. Your whole face get like this. Here. Okay. After she she happens. Okay, so you have kids. I got a couple. We got to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, she told. No, she we said that. No, we don't have to talk about just how many kids you have. I haven't seen them in a couple of days. When I'm on that's vacation, right. I don't have no children. Period. When you try to look at me with a rapper, you tell them I ain't got no children. We Clean. don't tell them that. It's like I got two kids. I love my kids. If it okay. wasn't for my kids, I wouldn't be doing this. I don't yeah. like this shit. 
You know what I mean? Like it's fun, but it ain't fun. People I get knowing it. your no, business. I get it's not. I never aspire to be oh famous. I no, never aspire to be famous. I hate that, that part. I don't uh-huh. like that fame part. I don't like that. Like even with me, I give people that damn home feeling. Motherfuckers, ex folks, people DM. Yo, I'm in Philly. Let's smoke a blunt. Like, bitch, why do you think I'm gonna pull up and smoke a blunt with you? Because I like I don't weed. Know you. Yeah. yeah, like, yes, I want to give y'all love. Yes, I want to give you this. No, I don't want to meet you and hang with you. And I'm mm. not coming to your birthday party because COVID is out. Please, right. I love you. That's how I feel all the time. Me and Lex talk about this. We, I always talk about how like I love doing this. I love like coming out here talking shit with my best friend like doing what we do off camera because it's easy it's organic <sighs> but like i do not like some of the attention sometimes like, y'all I successful though. i don't like the the attention i don't like some of the comments no i don't want to be your friend no mm. we not cool yeah. don't think and I'm you your don't home girl, fucking know I'm me no matter you how much bitch, you, you don't in. know me because this is a show People love to think that this is you for real. Niggas it's like, baby, yeah, this, yeah. I'm a whole different person outside of these. You don't know yeah. me. Well, I'm a Leo. When everybody's like, they be like, oh my God, Lex P. I be like, oh. Yeah, you know that's me? a Leo for you. <laughs> Mama, this first of all, she crazy. lying because she be getting anxiety when we be in this shows. This is a fucking meme right here. You can't do some stand-up, girl. That's oh, funny. <laughs> Lex P, yeah. I know her a little bit. Her ass is lying. Nah, when I we, hate that shit. When we meet people in person, <laughs> she be the one that be like, oh my God, Drea. I don't want to take no pictures. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, this, I'm not going to lie to y'all. We have done none of the topics that we were supposed to do. Fuck them. Oh, I kind of wanted been to girl talk, talk about this topic, though. Which this one? Is a good topic. <sighs> okay. Fuck Real okay. quick. We got to make it quick, we, though. We got to make it. You know what I'm saying? We got okay. shit to do all yeah, day. Yeah, we do got shit to Copy do all day. Copy and paste that shit. We're going to make it quick. These bitches professional. We do. We, we, got got we do have to shit. move on. Okay. We ain't got water at the next shoe. We <laughs> fucked up. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we always talk about, you know, getting healthier, especially in the new year. Mm-hmm. We all have things that we want to work on better. And I know my health was one of them. Right. Yes. This is the perfect time if you aren't taking a daily multivitamin to go ahead and start. Mm-hmm. And this multivitamin is great because it's for people 18 plus and it has all of the nutrients and everything that you would need in it. I don't know if y'all knew, but 97% of women are deficient in vitamin D. Mm-hmm. And 95% aren't getting their recommended daily mm-hmm. intake of omega-3 mm-hmm. so i feel like if you're trying to get back on your healthy stuff or you want to just take a multivitamin so you know just keep everything in check this is for you yes absolutely so make sure that you go to ritual.com slash poor minds and get 10 percent off of your first three months that's ritual.com slash poor minds p-o-u-r-m-i-n-d-s so we're going to talk about this really, really quick. I wanted to talk about where do you draw the line with loyalty and stupidity? Because I feel like bitches be dumb. And they be trying to say what? I'm loyal. Bitches and niggas. Everybody be dumb. They be trying to you act know, like they loyal, but you're really a dummy. Okay, so let me tell y'all one thing that um, I was dealing with a guy. Um, I got out of high school. I got in a serious relationship. Me and this man lived together. We were doing everything. Then me and him broke up. And I got with a rebound guy. Mm. And he was just a hoe. And (laughs) he was just out there. And it was like the first time I dealt with somebody that was kind of like popular. Okay. And one thing that he instilled on me was like, it don't matter what I do on the internet. It don't Mm. matter what I do in these streets. I'm coming home to you. Mm. Bullshit. And that's what I got my stupidity Mm -hmm. from. For a long time, I was stupid because I was like, I don't care what he do out in these streets. At least he's coming home to me. Mm. And that's what men do to women. They instill on you. As long as I'm coming home to you at night, it doesn't matter. As long as you're my number one, it doesn't matter. And that's where the stupidity comes from. Yeah, I had a situation like that. but Well, not like that, but I definitely had a situation where I was dealing with somebody and they was doing a lot for me. And so I would just turn a blind eye to a lot of shit mm-hmm. that normally me just being the type of woman that I am, mm-hmm. I would never put up with that shit. And right. I would never be okay with that shit. But I was turning a blind eye to it because I guess at that point, I felt like I needed that person. Mm-hmm. So I had to show them some type of loyalty to get right. them to keep doing what they was doing mm-hmm. for me. But I was really being a dumbass bitch. Mm. I, I mean, was really being stupid as fuck. I don't. I, I wish that y'all wouldn't be so hard on it because at the end of the day, it's like to me, in my opinion, no matter what your religion is, if if you believe in God or higher power, right? Mm-hmm. You pray for things, you live your life a certain way, and you want, you know, you have goals and goals or whatever. But that part of the story is what builds the character that makes you. Yeah. And it's like without those things, whether you call them mistakes or not, you wouldn't be as thorough. You wouldn't be as yeah, you know, solid. So it's not necessarily you was a dumbass bitch. That's what worked for you in the moment, motherfucker paying the rent, baby. 
You know what I'm saying? You feel like you just got to do what you got to do. But I feel like it depends. If you in that moment of that was what you needed at that time. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing. I, the thing it about, was too, girl. And it that's was. what I'm saying. I, I don't look it. at that as stupidity. Like, you was, like, going through something. Yeah, I was. Like, it wasn't, like, you was playing your cards, and I think you wisened up, like, in the middle of it. Yeah. Like, at the beginning, you were like, I love this man. I'm going to do whatever he says. And, and it was a lot. Well, it was never that I was going to do whatever he said. You know how the best thing I was still fucking child. niggas. All right, all right. I mean, th- now, honestly. Now, you can watch this and, Okay. <laughs> he, ain't got, he ain't gonna do nothing, is he? She we is. will whoop your motherfucking ass, Rodney. Speak for yourself. Period. You will get jumped, nigga. I ain't jumping shit. Listen, Hello, friend. this bitch will turn into a weapon, motherfucker. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> that's how it <laughs> is. What you, was, you was saying you don't feel like it's stupid if you doing what you gotta do. I mean, not even that. I just as far as when we when y'all being reflective, mm-hmm. that's what I mean. Yeah. If it's stupid, it's stupid, whatever. But when you reflect on it, it's not necessarily you was a dumb bitch. That's where you were in that moment. Mm. That's what worked for you in that moment, and that mm. shit built the bitch that would never play like that right now Fair. so what's more important to me is like the growth right if you're gonna learn a lesson then good, good thing it happened because i don't know about y'all but you can't tell me nothing yeah so i have to kind of go through it like for me it's like that was an issue with me for friendships mm. like i they say don't let your lord to become slavery like i will ride for a motherfucker go to jail for a motherfucker physically put my body out there mm. for my, my reputation whatever and it's like that's that east coast shit what and i'm <laughs> like <laughs> I ain't going down for nobody. Maybe in Texas, we won't we play that. Yeah, we not doing that. <laughs> like, That's some East Coast shit for real. If like, I love you, I'm going to try to, you know, my heart is to like, you know, especially if you show me a certain yeah. amount of What I'm learning now, especially when these are, these are big chances I got. These big boy chances. This is life changing chances. This is shit where I can impact my grandkids mm-hmm. that I don't fucking see. Yeah. So at that point, nobody can fuck this up. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Not you, not you. I don't give a fuck. Bestie, cousin, brother. Like, I got to make this shit work. Ain't no fucking plan B. And I got two children mm-hmm. looking for me to do everything. So at this point, it's like, with my loyalty, I pray. Like, yo, God, if I'm just, just for me, you know, show me, you know. And please, because I couldn't tell who the fuck for me and who not. Because everybody hard, loves me. Sometimes. Sometimes. I do the same thing. I'm I like, God, if this person is it's not for to me, tell sometimes. like, remove them. Then he'll do something to remove them. I'll be like, well, I don't think you meant that. That's exactly, <laughs> that's, that's exactly that's what I was going to say. Problem. We look to this guy, X, God, Y, and then God Give kills your sign. boyfriend and yeah. you cry for months. I mean, you know. Not it's under. Your I mean, really, it's a car accident. You get what you pray for. I pray that that God get the wrong people out of me because I started not being able to tell who liked me and who you know who was really there. Like mm-hmm. I, that viral, when I went viral in the summer. That's the biggest it ever been. That shit's bigger than me. That you sand, talk about the one arm on yeah neck one arm. I on swear, person. I did I did something on the live show and I was like acting crazy and I was on the ground. Somebody was screaming in the audience, one hand on yeah. the phone. It's that big. It's big. It's, it's, that huge. Big. it's huge. It's, I sat on the plane with a guy and I'm like. He just like, yeah, I'm so tired of hearing that fucking why you being the way I know. That shit funny. And I was like, I I made that, you know, because this is not, that shit's bigger than this, you know. Mm. But with that, it was like, it's still confusing. Like, even like building relationships on the internet with famous rich people and, you know, we're friends, but it's Mm -hmm. hard for me to say we're friends because it's so hard to trust people. But I prayed for that shit and my nigga left. I kid you not, I was in a relationship, living with a nigga, we love, happy motherfuckers. Like, look, I'm going to chase my dreams and they were like illegal sh- dreams and he left not illegal dreams it didn't even make any sense like the plan didn't even make any sense and he left he had and illegal I, dreams I, I, I've not dealt with rejection a lot so it was like hard for me like everywhere I went the internet was popping I'm famous motherfuckers love me did that in my cause my nigga was my best friend but like, the nigga you silent. want don't support you in real life what Yeah. you ain't telling me that like just picked up and even now it's like cause you know that ex thing and y'all kinda it's like bitch like no you know like you pray for that like mm-hmm. I lost friends and I lost you know and for me it's, it's more it's gonna keep happening too and you know what Drea give me your hand let me tell you something motherfucker told me right that you can't even get your fucking blessings with the wrong niggas around you, you right? can't so pluck, 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 drop them off I don't give a fuck if you kill them Jesus oh, sis. get them away from me <laughs> Did that. get them away I'm fine with mm-hmm. it Drea I'm open to new things my body my mind like I'm with that shit and I'm a good person so I know it's gonna come back tenfold and you gonna get a better nigga Listen, one that supports you honestly Drea that's probably gotta, on the same level too no, that's probably is. like Y'all gonna have y'all gonna be equally yoked. I gotta, yeah. next I, gotta, I gotta tell you something. Wait, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit toxic. Like, me, I think girl, I need. A, I've too. never been single. I'm, I'm toxic. Too. I, like, the I, problem I, is, I be too single. I've never been faithful. Neither have she. I've been engaged Maybe you twice. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 
now. Why am I in it? I told you I have a man now. I'm faithful to my man. Look. <laughs> Look at I, me in my face. Okay. I've been engaged twice. You see, you have never, good pussy. You my do. My pussy's Because I ain't never been engaged. The coochie, and you know what else? This is what I do on it the whole time. Lock yeah. eyes with you. Put that grip on you. Okay, yes, like I love the grippy. I ain't playing with you. Mm -hmm. Like that? I'm a real nigga. Like, y'all know if you really call me, you know what? I like you. You know why I like you so much? Because what? you're loud and you're aggressive like me. Yes, yeah. we both and you're, But you're a woman. Yeah. Like, a woman to the core. And I think a lot of people get that fucked up about, like, for people, sure. women like us. Don't they, you feel judged and played Yeah, they, they be like, oh, she loud, she funny. Like, bitch, I'm soft and so is this pussy. And you're also intelligent and you also have yeah. a successful motherfucking podcast. Uh, you understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. With a fucking slew of fans. Uh, so, don't fuck with me. Don't play with me. And no, I can't come on your raggedy ass podcast with no followers, Hello? motherfucker. <gasps> exactly. Period. Because people play, they people, do. People, people, people. Y'all need to get me up there for what? Why? Who are you? We're not even gonna get into that. Okay, so now, <laughs> now we gonna get, get into, into the bed. bed. Ow. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. 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 These bitches got segments. Oh, no. <laughs> this is some professional shit, Phelps. Write this down. <laughs> Write it down. Okay, so I want to talk about today is like. Why do we as women deal with men sexually when we know they don't have anything going on? Because don't get me wrong, orgasms are good, dick yeah. is good, but is dick that good to be giving your good pussy? Like we said, we got good pussy up here. I'm I'm gonna claim my good pussy today. I'm not gonna say it's mid today. I'm gonna claim my say it's mid every week, I and I still have a fight because he's crazy. you never know who's watching this show, and I don't want niggas to be like getting their hopes up. Like, damn, I want to fuck Lexus. I know she got some good pussy. And then I pull up with that mid. Sometimes Lex. I pull Pull up with the mid. The mid still I selling. But I feel like she's if it's ever this. mid, I the mid still selling. But I feel like if it's ever mid, it's mid because of him, though. I don't care, but I'm just That's letting you right. know. What is she talking about? I'm just letting Girl, you I don't know. know. I can't relate. I would never call my pussy mid. Sometimes the I shit. I call myself ugly a little bit. People go freak out. Yeah, they, but they do. They do that to me, too. But I don't care. Sometimes my pussy. You're not ugly, though. Sometimes Why my pussy, pussy like, damn, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Sometimes what niggas be like. like dry sometimes? I, I mean, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I be it trying to be the condom, though. Listen, I, yeah. play with that I mean, we know. Play with it. Doring, play with it. I do all that. Pull it out the sky. Just put it on the clit and get it wet. But I just feel like sometimes the, it's okay. You no, can't have grand, I'm not with that. Y'all cannot sit here and say y'all have grand, amazing sex every time. The pussy is amazing every time. I might back I in the day, you know. Oh ooh. God, I put this on everything I ooh. love. I feel like I done said this before. If a nigga done ever got some trash pussy for me, please write in support mine. Me too. I would love to hear me your too. Well, don't write if in you for ever, me. Don't write if you ever me. had. <laughs> bad pussy from Don't Call Me White Girl right in the drain too. I think, I think, don't, I swear to God, I'm that confident. I think this pussy that good. No okay. times where my pussy was better with one nigga than with another nigga, but I don't think no nigga can say my pussy is trash. No, no, yeah, I'm with that. Tommy, put my name on that, John. But yeah, honestly, I, I got guess, you. Like, I guess right like in I said, for Mona too. We right talk, in. We if talk. you had bad, and I need, we need motherfucking proof. Cause a lot of you niggas play. We need the proof. We need dates and times. First name, last name, motherfucker. Last four digits. How long it lasts? Last four of your social and three digits on the back of your car. <laughs> I don't need that That's shit. Just so don't write in because I believe through. you. I know. I don't write in for me because I believe you. But <laughs> if the coochie was dry, it's because you ugly, Dwayne. And don't be telling nobody that, about that, that motherfucker. Why that dick was trash. So I want to talk about why, but like, okay, so men really don't deal with, like, if they feel like a woman don't have shit going on, she trash, she this, she that. That's not true. They still fuck her. Yes. They get their dick suck all the time. Okay, yeah. but we're Niggas. talking about, but why do we as women, we give men more chances Because though. the good guys have horrible sex. And the, and the broke niggas will fuck the shit out of you. I'm not doing it. You ever get fucked in a nigga grandma basement? <gasps> what? Now see? Now that you know, that's 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 we don't got basements. It floods. <laughs> so we don't got, I ain't never got fucked in a nigga basement. You have, you, got, you from in Texas, you got attic, fucked though. in the attic. I was about to say. I definitely it's got hot fucked in the attic. attic. You almost lost your life. Hell yeah, I got <laughs> fucked in the attic. Me and my ex-boyfriend, God, rest in peace. She don't bring this nigga up every time. Yeah, I am, because I'm doing she this for you. Down. What happened to him? <laughs> Is he okay? I mean, what happened? No, I mean, he's, he's dead in the motherfucker. He Was he shot? He got, he got, yeah, got, he got shot. He got shot. He got shot. He used to sell weed. <gasps> How you shoot the, the weed, day. man? She niggas don't have it. no loyalty. Yeah. Niggas have no loyalty. Yeah. So yeah, so <laughs> That's funny. shout out to him. We used to be fucking in the attic in his mama house. Yo, we did. Listen, and that nigga was fire. All I'm saying is, in my situation in my life, the good, the better guys, jobs, credit, whatever. Dick wasn't pool. good. I'm talking about we want to fuck every have six weeks. Have you ever weeks. had a BDB? A BDB? What is it? A, a big dick baller. First of all, I don't like big dicks. Me neither. I hate big dicks. I'm like, I'm like, 
like a perfect dick to me is like six, seven mm-hmm. wide. That's a that's a big dick. Though. We like the girth. That's what I'm saying. A big dick doesn't necessarily mean like a huge dick, but like when we talk about a BDB, it's like he got a good sized dick, sex is good, and he got money and he gonna trick. Never. It's giving so never, never, had energy. Energy. never in my fucking life. Any nigga that looked out, tricked on me, all that dick was horrible. Breath stone, Damn. it was always a rough ride. Breath stone. I ain't playing with you. My dick guy. Not how Because I had one too. His breath stone, child. How do you fuck a nigga who breath stain? Dre, I had to do what I had to do, bitch. Don't yeah, don't judge I know, I'm not. No, the thing is, I'm not judging. I'm literally asking how. Like, what did you do? Like this. <laughs> through my mouth. <laughs> fuck. I do you gotta, gotta take do. breath. Mister just get up top me and do his business. I just laid there. <laughs> You know, let's do it for the And back. he was breathing. Child breathing, shining, leave the chains on, child's a mess. Now I'm in a bind. Fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Motherfucker, did you brush your teeth? <laughs> no, you didn't. That's before the veneer thing. Cause he would have got him, you know, he's a baller. Mm. But mm. he did too. But, God bless yeah. him. But see, that's why we gotta we gotta take her out for so real. So we got stuff in common, we lost niggas. You ain't lose no no niggas. No. None of her niggas ain't died. I done lost two niggas. I don't. Hold up now. The, you don't want to have that widow pussy. pussy. Yeah, now. Yeah, she you got, got the bitches with the bio, 10 niggas' names in it. No, I love only, all of y'all. It's only two, and the second one it wasn't ever my nigga. We was just fucking, and then I seen he died, and I was like, damn, that's fucked up. I see. But I do feel it like. Was. <laughs> As women, though, like, we give too much to, like, broke niggas. It's niggas out there that have good things going for themselves. They got money. They're good people, and they got good dicks. No, they don't. Yes, it is. Who have you ever fucked that had good dick, good money, was tricking... Uh, Big Papa, Mr. Cabo, Nigerian Bay. First of all, eh, no. I Ooh, want a Nigerian no. Bay. Nigerian, Nigerian Bay was my, Nigerian was. Bay was my fave. I he, took me to like, he took me to Legos. I got that chickies already. Get me one Let's of them Let's go. Niggas. We can go. This is bullshit. We, we can, can cut these cameras now. Let's talk but about no, what But what I'm do. saying is, it's like you don't like... If you, I'm, I'm talking about somebody has something going Answer for themselves. Answer her question. Have you had that guy? No, what? she had it because everybody she said yeah. I can find a flaw. Everybody has a flaw. I'm not. But you said good dick, tricks. And that's money. All the good guys tricks? I dated, the dick was horrible. So, uh, Big Bro. Papa don't trick. Big Papa don't trick. We not gonna talk about what the catch is, though. Yeah, I, we ain't talking about the, the catch. catch. So that's what you asked. You asked Big D tricks and got money. No, that's no, 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 no. We will talk about what the catch uh, is. But the I thing is, you talking about, you said a good, like, we're talking about good men. That's oh, not a oh, good man. That's not a good man. I didn't say he, he was a good man. But that's what we're talking about. We said okay, good men. Right. Good man. That's the, come on, Lex, yeah. man. Don't I, okay, so, so none of the niggas you named fit the criteria. Okay, not a good man, but the next thing under good man until I find my good man is good dick, tricking, and he got money. Right? Okay. So, like we talked about the other week, transitional dick. To me, a nigga All these with niggas good on dick. my transitional dick until I find my good man. To me, a nigga with good dick and money is on the same level as a nigga who just got good dick. Y'all mm-hmm. both trash ass niggas. Yeah. But at least you're getting something out the situation. If but going sometimes on. bitches don't be getting shit. You just fucking well, a nigga who got some money. I that's a fact. She preaching now. No, because just because sometimes, he got money on me, he giving you nothing. Yes. That's a fact. Well, I, and tricking to me is tricking. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't be tricking. A nigga give you two, three bands, that ain't tricking. Ooh, talk heavy drill. This bitch a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Holy Ghost in this but motherfucker. But a nigga, a nigga give you a few bands, that ain't tricking. What to me, bitch? tricking is when it's some shit that change your life. A nigga buy you a car. Change a nigga, my life, A nigga daddy. buy you some jewelry, some what? shit. If you get on me. hard times, you can, uh, you can right. send that shit and I, get an no, appraisal. I'm gonna bring it back and invest buy you in a, me. Buy you a house, buy you a right, condo, but I agree, but you a business. But also where you are in Business. I like that. I like it what you said. It also depends where you are. A bag that appreciate. Yeah. A bag that appreciate. That's only that's only Chanel's and Birkins. Birkins. That's, that's what I'm saying. There. But a bag that appreciate. Not no YSL. Not okay. no Louis. <laughs> we, no, not, you know the dog like a Louis. <laughs> Well, I'm coming by myself, so I got a no, few why. I got no, why but what I'm saying is, I agree with you 100%, but it also depends where you are in life. Like, I'm not going to lie. A year or two ago, when I had my BDB, and I and I didn't know where rent was coming from for the next, I didn't know where my phone bill and this and that, that helped me. And that got me on a pedestal to where I could do the things and I could maneuver like I wanted to. Not everybody. I don't need a new car right now. I need to worry about paying off this credit bill and paying my rent. So it just it just depends where you are in life. Now, okay, but the BDBs I expect, like, yeah, I need a new car. I want a house. I want shit like that. But it just depends where you are in life. So sometimes life changing shit is not necessarily a car or a new house. It just depends where you are in life. I'm just saying, for me to brag about a nigga tricking on me, he now, got a 
now, to really be tricking. Like, yeah, now, you giving me a few thou ain't tricking. Yeah, now. You can give me a few thou out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My cash app now, is D C M W G. Money sign. Are you feel like he a treat? I don't give a fuck about nothing feelings. You talking about thou, few thou, I ain't few thou, I ain't going. That's what I'm saying. The thou wow you want going you's going to give brown skin. Slide it over <laughs> here to me. I'll take the thou wow. No, but I'm saying are you going to feel like he's a trick ass nigga though just cuz he I, sent I you like two bands. I'm going to feel like whatever he want me to feel like. Just <laughs> send me the couple thou. I'm with that shit. People, and you know what's fucked up? This whole thing I'm giving to people because like you said, we don't be famous. It's too late. Boom, you there, right? Mm-hmm. This is not something guys want to try to talk to. Niggas think scared they gonna fuck me. I'm gonna put it on social media. Mm. That dick was little. It's like no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna tell talk nobody about, about that. But I will tell you that dick was little. All right. <laughs> I like little dicks. That's what I'm saying. I don't like little ones. You I said prefer. six, seven. That's not really little. That ain't big either. That's a good but song. But it ain't little. I don't want no nine. See, that's that Irish want no coming out. <laughs> I don't want no nine. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, you got the nine millimeter. Keep it over there. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get into the bop. Hey. The bop. Bow. The bop. Ow. Ow. I bow, bow, bow. Okay, so... Y'all know I'm this is this is me this week. My man, my man, my man. So my man put me on a song and I really, really, really like it. It's by Aaron Ray. It's called Reckless. And the way he spells his name is A-R-I-N-R-A-Y. It's called Reckless. And it's just a really smooth R and B song. He got back to begging. I feel like that's what R&B is missing. The niggas is not begging no more. Mm -hmm. He was definitely begging for the pussy, talking about what I got to do just to see you naked. Like, he was begging for the pussy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is, like, I I told y'all, R&B ain't dead. You niggas just scared. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, so he did his thing. It's a good song. Aaron Ray, Reckless. That's my bop. Love it. What you been listening to? So Chris? my vibe of the week, and I feel like I'm late to the party, but y'all know I love Doja Cat. But Doja Cat have a song called Woman, and then she just came out with the video with Tayana Taylor, and I love that song. But mm. I feel like I'm late to the party. Yeah, I feel, that song did come out, but it's okay. But I feel like I what like was, that song. But what was more important was the visuals because no, what the they, visual, the video is. Fire. But what they did, if you go on the website, they did like a coding thing. Like you can code it and like change things in the video, which was I've never seen that before. Yeah. So I um, think, um, you know, I feel like Doja Cat get a lot of you know backlash, which you know. I mean, I like Doja we Cat. We won't. Yeah, we won't. We won't speak on that. I actually really do like her too. I love Doja I feel Cat. like she's very innovative. I feel like she's changing the game. Like somebody has said that they feel like she could reach a Beyonce status. I saw that. What mm-hmm. y'all think about that? I think you shouldn't even play with that lady name yeah. like that. But I think she's real talented. I think Beyonce. Yeah. Is Beyonce she's, I'm not going to yeah. turn on no Doja Cat to listen to her. But I, that doesn't mean I can't hear and see mm-hmm. that this bitch, like her visuals and mm-hmm. all that. She is star. Next she is level. Shit. She is star. For sure. Is she black? I think I'm just. Too- she is. She. I think she is. She have. She used to say she, nigger in chat rooms. No, she. I, I know her. <laughs> I know that I know one of her Doja parents Cat. is like South African or yeah. something like that. I, I, say I think I'm just chat too rooms. far stuck up Meg's ass right now to care about any of the other. Oh, you a real Texas. Bitch. Yeah, like, I love Meg. Like, love she Meg. got imagine getting Grammys in a year, graduating. You know what Meg I like? Performing. Nobody can, nobody's fucking with Meg. You know period. what Meg I liked? Coochie shorts all in the pussy on top of that. Yeah, but she still is like that. She's a fucking lyrical. She like, is. Yes. Yo, bar she for hard. bar, I just have to say this: like people like to give Meg flat, but bar for bar, nobody is fucking with her. They're not. I'm None sorry. of the girls that's they out right not. now. The girls yeah. Bar yeah. for bar, the girls are not fucking with Meg. I'm just that's my girl. I can't. I mean, I love Doja Cat. It's, I'm not comparing them. I'm just saying I like Doja Cat, but like Meg is just in another stratosphere for me no I like Doja Cat too but I do feel like Meg is on another level Mm. real hot girl shit real hot girl shit period love Meg Houston girl shit I feel like more competition is great you know what I mean I feel like cause yeah. of course Nicki Minaj is dead bitch but you know Nicki Minaj came in the time Remy fresh in jail it's no females rapping right. and I used to fuck with Remy back in the day I, I used to like Remy too yeah, I, I got agree with that whole album but you know some say what would it have been if Nick, if Remy was home the whole time mm. you know to me there's no need to even talk 
like that is what it is. I mean, things she's have the, happened. We can't go. Back. I mean, she's that bitch. She's yeah. a writer. She's a boss. But like, it's people that's coming. Like Lady London is a lyricist. I'm I like, love she her. Lady London is fucking. Yeah, Lady is London. she from Philly? No, Lady London is from, from up top. She's from she New York. Okay. Yeah, but she, I'm a big fan of Lady London, and um, you know, I just I'm a I'm a lyricist person. I I like a lot of underground. Mm. Yeah, because y'all was talking about songs and shit. That's like so. What's your vibe? Who you been like, listening y'all be to? Like y'all watching battle rap and shit, right? No, I don't buy oh, oh. Cassidy. I, I, I'm, <laughs> now I'm a hustler, homie. Girl, you want to come to my hotel? No, she see. just fucked us up, Philly. We got we to gotta do something about That was crazy. That was wild. Benny no, Siegel. That's my favorite rapper. I love Benny that's Siegel. That's my favorite rapper. I can feel it in the air. Yeah, that's that my was favorite rapper. That that's the, the only song she knows. Philly she is That's the only <laughs> Philly is like a lyrical kind of city. Even the girls, like I love a rapper. Her name is Passion. She raps like an evil Isn't man. Isn't Miss J from Philly? Can you send Ms. me J her page? From I, I sure see. will send you her page. I'll play this for you when it's over. Okay. Her verse, but it's like she come hard. But that's how we are, you mm-hmm. know. So I like I like that vibe. We got um fake bitches here. You ever heard Rocky from Philadelphia? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, I got put y'all on to a couple. The only rapper out. I know from Philly is me. And Eve. And Eve. Oh, I'm talking about right now. This hour. Oh, this hour. But no, I used to fuck with a Philly rapper. That's why I said Miss J. Timbaland had signed her back in the day and she yeah. was super hard. Yeah, Miss J just, was like Ms. on J the subway was. battling niggas. Yeah, That's so Miss J was hard. Wait, y'all got subways in Yeah, Philly? we got trains. Well, I feel yeah. like I didn't ever see that when I was uh, Yeah, I'm we big. don't have as many as in Wild. Because I'm looking at the decoration. Because I probably wasn't outside. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get into our favorite segment, the Pour Your Heart Out segment. If you want your question answered on the show make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com if you're a patreon Tyler, member so you can see the make sure you put in the bio that i mean in the subject that you are a patreon member and we'll answer your question this podcast is sponsored by better help and poor minds listeners get 10 percent off of their first month at betterhelp.com backslash poor minds What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we have to tell y'all about better help. Y'all know we're in winter now. The weather's a little gloomy. And I feel like a lot of people are experiencing seasonal depression right now. Yes, it's definitely a real thing. And better help could definitely assist you with that. One of the greatest things about better help is that you can get on there and start communicating with a counselor in under 48 hours. And financial aid is available. Mm-hmm. You do everything from the comfort of your own home. It's super easy. Everything is self-explanatory. And. And I just feel like I love it. I, I love it too. I never miss a week. Me neither. Ever. And we have a patient review. It says, Erin is truly an amazing person and therapist. She is understanding, kind, and gives fantastic advice. I'm so lucky to have been matched with her. This person was dealing with relationship issues, intimacy related issues, anger management, and compassion fatigue. Yes, yeah, so make sure that you visit betterhelp.com slash poor minds. That's better H E L P and join the over 1 million people who have started taking charge of their mental health with betterhelp.com and you get 10% off of your first month. You want me to read this one? You yeah, to... you can read the first All one. All right. It says, Hi, Drea and Lex. The question is, how old is too old to be a hoe? I feel like I'm ready for my hoe phase. It's honestly past due. I recently turned 26, and I'm also recently single. I was Cute. in a seven-year-long relationship mm-hmm. with the father of my child. So most of my 20s were wasted in a relationship. During our on and off relationship, I did not see other people and had fun, but I never officially had that whole phase. I need to get I need to get my whole phase out the way now because I don't want to I don't want to be the whole old hole later in life. I'm not sure if I'm ready for the whole phase or if the effects of ending a long term relationship. Is this whole whole phase thing a myth or do you ladies feel like this is something all women should experience? I know some of the listeners are saying you're a mom focus on your kid. My shit together. We good. I plan to be a mom first and a hoe immediately after. Fuck them children. Fuck them kids. And Mona got kids, so she can really speak on this more than we can. Mm-hmm. First of all, stop sending in paragraphs. Wrap that shit up in three lines. <laughs> Niggas Y'all got shit stuttering? to do. If that, because we do something like that. It's like you ain't getting a fucking play with all that. Yeah. Wrap it up. And you're um, not going to change my mind or what I'm going to give you the answer. Why do we have to do all this dissertation mm-hmm. for that quick question? Am I too old to be a hoe? I'm 26, period. Yeah. Question mark. 
And I got kids, period. At the end of the day, um, <laughs> fuck no. I'm 30-something, and I'm thinking about a whole phase. I haven't really had a good whole run. And I think it, I don't think necessarily it's a myth. I think it's shit you see on social media and shit mm-hmm. you read in here. If you don't live that type of life. Like, for you to be a to go through a whole stage, if you have to buy a wardrobe and hang in another city, bitch, sit the fuck down in Idaho and be a regular mom. Nah, you know I, what I mean? Well, if you in Idaho, then you should be a hoe. Some kind of way to dread that. Locked in. I'm with it. Either I way. Know. I knew she was about to say that. I knew you were about to say that. You know what? Okay, so this is what I'll exactly, say. Exactly. I right. feel like it doesn't matter Fuck how it. old you are. There's no age limit on doing what you want to do to satisfy yourself. Whatever you need in this moment, do it. Whether it's being in a relationship, fucking a lot of niggas, dating, having fun. Do what makes you happy because you get one life. That's for you. Stop living for other people. The only You mm-hmm. want to do a whole phase. You just want me and Drea to say, yes, do it. Right. Girl, do it. Exactly. Do it. Do what you want to do because let me tell y'all something. I don't give a fuck. I know y'all about to talk about me like, ugh, she back a rapper back and is. I don't give a fuck what people say because I'm going to do what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. And people also be all be trying to say we be too old to do stuff. Like you cannot bitch, be old to do I, nothing. I never understood. Like honestly, and maybe it's because I just turned thirty. Honestly. Like thirty is not <laughs> old. Like and luckily, if you end up being thirty, if you get the chance to be thirty, okay. you gonna realize. Because I think that be the thing too. People, you get older, and people be trying to be like, oh, that's old. Mm-hmm. Bitch, hope that you be thirty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really, you know really, what I mean? Yeah. But it's like. 30 is not old. 35 is not old. 40 is not old. old it's not. It's I mean, not. really, on some real shit, like, the the confidence, like, that shortness you get in your 30s, you can't get that in your 20s. Man. No, you can't. Because like, you don't know yourself. very confusing time. Yeah, I just feel like I know what I like. I'm on a cup of ice, eat my butt, let's take a nap. I like that. Like, I know what I want. Not the cup you know of ice. I mean? 26 yeah. to 29 was a very trying time oh, for me. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think it's so better when you kind of wait to have kids because a lot of us go through that time that phase and you gotta raise your kids too. child and they don't that shit don't stop what give me give me i need you know what i mean so i think having that time to like focus on your own shit is lit for sure but i like what lex said i, like I agree too i think want. you should do what you want to do girl it ain't no fucking time limit on being on anything on if you want to be a hoe girl be a hoe these niggas gonna be outside waiting. exactly and then 26 not even old it's not Question two, go ahead. Hey, y'all. Drea, has anybody ever told you that you and Summer Walker look alike? Because I swear y'all do. Anyway, how can I convince my fiancé to open our relationship? I love him. I'll never leave, but I do think about having sex with other people. I would like for us to be on some Will and Jada shit. Keep our family together, but go play every now and then. I also don't want to cheat. What should I do? First of all, Will and Jada is not a good example. Because every week they tell us about, oh my God, I did not love Jada for 30 years Mm. but I love her today like that's not a good example I think we as people need to stop looking and I'm not just using Will and Jada as an example we need to stop looking at other couples and be like that's not you you should be your own goals first Mm -hmm. of all second of all you need to you need to have a conversation with him to see if that's even an option for him like does he would he feel okay with you getting dicked down like that's the conversation you need to have are you okay with him eating some other pussy Mm -hmm. like people want to keep it light keep it cute like an open relationship no let's talk about what it really is you trying to go suck some other dick you trying to get fucked by another nigga is he okay with that I don't know I be feeling like people who write us and they be asking about having open relationships you writing us asking us that because you don't know if your partner wants to do that and if you don't know if your partner wants to do that then they probably don't because I feel like people who want to have open relationships you know I mean but sometimes you exactly. can have a conversation with somebody and you're like oh you were thinking about this I was thinking about it too but I didn't but know I don't how think to say niggas, it one thing about yeah. niggas I don't think they scared to ask if that's what they want I don't know they are niggas just go cheat they don't ask. She probably got a white boy. This white boy giving I'm like. I'm sorry. If you want to, baby. Yeah. Maybe can, if, if, if I was with a black guy and I wanted to have an open relationship, I would just tell my nigga like, "Look, babe, like I think that black maybe- men do that." Every guy I think that's do? black or very territorial. That's my pussy. You better not. I'll kill you, it bitch. It just depends what kind of guy you know. But get there that. are black men in open relationships. There are a lot of black poly relationships. Yeah, some of the po- some of the podcasts that I've watched where they had poly people on there were black. I mean, I'm, black. I'm Muslim by faith. You can have two wives in the Muslim religion. So, I mean, you I understand right. the poly thing, but that's a whole nother thing. Yeah. That we just, we both get to fuck other people. You know what I mean? I like yeah. the relationships where it's like, we love each other. We cool, but... You know, outside, that's my business. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm all right with that. You yeah. know, like, you do you, I do me. Right. You know what I mean? 
But I feel like like she she but wants niggas to, don't know how to handle that. Because I feel like that. a lot of times you want that love that this person can give you, and they can only give you that certain love that they like. They know your love language, mm-hmm. they know you, but physically you probably want something else. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's why a lot of times people want open relationships. But I think you just definitely need to have a conversation with them. Yeah, talk to your man, girl. Like that's it. And if yeah. he ain't with it, then you if know, he ain't with it, then I wouldn't say he's cheat, probably gonna start him. to cheat right after you ask. Yeah, she gonna cheat gonna if think he's you cheating. Them. I'll, I'll the relationship cheat. done. You I don't even ask. Leaving. I just cheat. Cause you you gonna tell me no anyway. She yeah, cheated. most niggas is gonna say no about if yeah, you ask them to cheat. So Yo, just... would ask honestly out of every guy you ever dated, you you could you would have asked. No. I couldn't imagine asking none of them. No, I'm not gonna lie. None of the niggas I've ever fucked with would be okay with what? knowing I'm getting dicked If down. I really wanted to fuck another nigga, and I knew that, like, cause first of all, to me, if I want to fuck another nigga, this shit done. Exactly. exactly. It's done. So if I ask you, then I'm prepared for whatever answer you give me. And yeah. yeah, I would ask. Like, yo, my ex wasn't even with the whole, cause you know, guys, we remember we talked about that on the 85 South Show about like random guys giving you money. Mm-hmm. He was just like, he just not. I'm like, what if we split it? He like, no, don't take it. So you bag. good for that split? What? I'm saying yeah, to him to make him. It. No, I to definitely. To make him feel. Child, I took the money. Huh? I'm saying when I said it to him, <laughs> I was like, that's how I tried to pitch it to him. Like, fuck these niggas, yeah. man. We can split. Like, we ain't splitting shit. Send it the fuck back. Now you done fucked yourself out your half. See, told you, nigga, pick it. Okay, exactly. You ain't got Shame no fucking you. money, nigga. Girl, just ask him, but. I'm rolling with these bitches now. That's all you get. <laughs> okay, we going to fucking, what you call it? Clover? Dover, we going all to Clover? No, 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 no. The, the, the niggas with money is you not in Clover Lane. Turkey leg hut, bitch. That's in Houston. Yeah. We gonna go. That's in Cause Cause the BDBs do be there. The BDBs do be there. They do be there. Are those turkey legs good like that? Yes, they, are. they are. They fire. Like, Child, I literally. Seen, I seen a bitch stuff macaroni and cheese in Man, one. Man, mm-hmm. it, it's gonna change your life. Maybe you have bitch that'll put macaroni and cheese in a turkey leg they is a different. bad bitch. Mm-hmm. Yes, God Fall bless the turkey the leg. Fall off the bone. All right, question three. Love you, Dre and Lex. I've been seeing this guy for about eight months now. He's wealthy, white trust fund kid with his own bankroll and a hefty inheritance to fall back on. Mm-hmm. Things have been going so good and I love it here. My only issue is sometimes after sex, he says he's sorry. He's probably not as big as the other guys I've had. I've only dated black guys before him. It's getting to me now because his dick is surprisingly good. Our passion and connection is unmatched. Best I ever had and he's seven inches. So definitely not small, but the insecurity and pity parties are driving me crazy. What can I do to make it stop? Tell him to stop. Tell him, nigga, this dick good. Well, he not a nigga. Wigger, (laughs) this (laughs) all. Not the wigger. Dre and called him a wigger. Not a wigger. I haven't heard that in so long. She can't call him a nigga. I definitely dated a wigger. I feel like we do that all the time. We accidentally call black people. I mean, white people niggas. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a few times when I was talking to Rory. And I was like, damn, nigga, my nigga. Damn, nigga. <laughs> it's been a few times I've been calling Rory nigga. They like it. I, no, and Rory, it's so funny because they can't say like that shit back. No, he can't say it. Rory has never said the N word, but Rory definitely liked that shit. I'd be like, my nigga. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't want to be like a, at the table, but that whole thing's made up. Bitch, you lying. I don't believe you don't it. Think, you I don't believe, believe it. I trust my kid. And he fucking <gasps> you had to. Oh, I'm so sorry. My cock's small. You know, I just bought you a bench. You lying. You know what I'm saying? I just bought you a bench. You sound like Ryan. Ryan be saying that. I be lying. That's like, East Coast shit. We don't believe shit. nothing, man. I, I believe, believe her, but I feel like maybe he doesn't feel that way because honestly, like, if you like him and you fuck with him, like, show him that the dick good while y'all fucking, like, be give them affirmation. She said it's Say, passionate and all it, that. That's what I'm saying. It's passionate, so be like, damn, this dick bomb. This your pussy. That is weird. Y'all don't talk during sex and let these niggas know that they give, they piping you down, that they really are piping I you down. I definitely be talking. Niggas be start put their hand over my mouth. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm I fake it. Me. I fake it. I'm gonna fake it. One time now I was see? faking it back in the day, and he was like, the dick not even in. It was real awkward. He said it. Yeah. Dre did that before. How the fuck I'm gonna know? See, that's like, why did I do No, that? you said that you was faking before, and like a guy was like, oh, Was you there? I love you how told, y'all do you that. You told the story, but you, I probably was. Are you there. talking about when I was fake mo- when the niggas said yeah, I was fake yeah, moaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part because like, y'all dad be t- one of them would be telling the story. Yeah, child, because I got the business I went and she be like, "Bitch, you ain't that. You ain't Honda." I like that about them. <laughs> no, we do be calling each other out. I said that he said I was fake moaning, but I wasn't. I was really moaning. He, oh. it was just a different moan from when he was eating my pussy. Oh, okay, okay. That's it. That is what same. you said. That is what you said. No, but Mona, it. we don't fake no more. Oh, I fake it. No, Why? stop for what? Boy, it's I, get, I get started before you even get started. Woo! Ow, ooh. 
<laughs> and I make my voice lighter because my voice is very deep. So yeah. it's giving like, yeah, fuck me. I gotta be like, fuck me, daddy. Oh no. I be doing Stop it. So I be like, that's yeah. why that's why niggas be walking around thinking they got good dick. Child, I make a nigga feel what? Not only do I fake, this one of my faves. So you know how he fucking you in, in like the pelvic area? Mm-hmm. Child, I push it back like uh, uh, like it's too much. Uh uh. Uh-uh. Stop. I push him back. We're I not be doing, doing that, that no too. more. I put the hand and then he go. I be like, stop. Look, he go, move that hand. And I go, sorry. You know, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh-huh. Bullshit. Whole act. No. Or we even or when niggas be hitting it from the back, you be, they you be like, why you running? They be like, oh, he's so big. Yeah, I do that. No, and she, this girl can take some dick. I've just seen it with oh. my own two eyes. So I know you lying. <laughs> I'm about to join y'all Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I like oh, it over here. Shit. Definitely be taking the D. All right, question four. Go ahead, babe. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lex and Drea. I've been in a relationship for the past four months being super faithful and everything's been going well. But maybe a week or two ago, my man asked me, what's my body count? It literally took me off guard and I forgot to lie and say three and said 21. <laughs> and he was just so shocked and was basically looking at me crazy trying to break up with me saying I was too young for a high body count. I was sad, but at the same time, I was like, fuck it, because I'm not really ashamed of my past and I'm not the same girl I used to be. We stopped talking for a few days, but then he was like, fuck it, it's your past. I still want you. I still want to be with you. And we got back together and shit, but lately the communication isn't there. I feel like the vibe isn't like how it used to be at all. Should I end it? Because it feels like the end is near or wait or wait till he do it or talk through it girl okay that don't make no sense yeah i'm glad you reading it Mm -hmm. i don't know what to do i ain't never been in no situation like this please help by the way i'm 23 and my dude is 27 girl fuck his old ass do he got a job why the fuck are we randomly watching Netflix? You talking about babe? How long? How many niggas That's you been with? He's a weirdo. Are girl. we? Why are we still asking about body count? Because like, we gonna tell y'all three. Period. And eight men that you told him the truth. And twenty one ain't even really shit nowadays, bitch. Twenty one and twenty three ain't y'all bad. Always tell the nigga Trust three. Me. That's what we told y'all. That, that little sound went three. viral on TikTok. It's always three. The number is always. Which three. sound went viral? The one from? Does the well, summer you told me that? It's three. Yeah. On our episode. Okay, yeah, because you told me that. Well, no, well. no, the it episode was just me and her it was from, okay. the show. Yeah. from the show. Because, girl, we've like, been saying that. She it's gave three. the three pitch that three. day. I was yeah, like, I was telling you, mm. always say three. It's three these niggas. niggas are emotional. They be trying to make I'm it seem like I'm scared to say that I'm honest. I'm honest. I'm not. You be telling niggas the truth. I am, but I don't have a big body count. I would tell y'all right here on this camera. Oh. But honestly, I don't even fuck with niggas that 14. care. 14. They don't care about my body count. But I took off the dead guy because it's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can do that. But honestly, but even I'm going to start doing that too. Your body count is probably lower than that because honestly, if you haven't had a sex with a guy in seven years, he falls off It's too. like your crazy. Now, I didn't give yeah. you that less. I just gave you the honestest, but you are right about that. Yeah, so your body count is actually lower Not than that. Not to mention the pussy resets itself every January 1st, it so does. technically, oh I fuck God. one person. Exactly. Yeah, fuck it, one person. That's why the answer is always three. You got to do the math. You know, you don't want to say Pastor one. and this motherfucker's a genius. You don't mm-hmm. want to say one because then niggas gonna look at you. Like, niggas like, gonna be right. like, you fucked one nigga, but if you say three, it's like, mm. I mean, honestly, like, that body count thing was such a big deal to me coming up. Like, I just, and I really didn't make certain decisions sexually because I didn't want to have a big, I regret the fuck out of that. It was to me I too regretted. when I was younger, but then when I got to uh, college, I was like, that shit man, down, that, that shit done. Rapper bag, tell me I'm ever, fucking. Because my never thing cared. is, how will you know? <laughs> How will they know? How will they know? Will you know what I used know? to think? I used to think if you got a lot of dicks that your vagina would get loose. I didn't it know don't. that. You could have a baby motherfucker Still go right snapping. back. Still snapping. Got that snap back. It's true. Miss Grip. Gorilla Grip. Period. So make sure if y'all want y'all question answered on the show, you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. Now tell everybody where they can find you, what you working on, what you got coming up, all that good stuff. God. Um, Instagram been on a bitch back. I'm on my third page. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay. I, I just was talking about that, how they been like deleting everybody. Black like, people. Crazy Only shit. black people. People, only black people. Um, but yeah, I'm on. I'm at like a hundred thousand followers or something. Oh, my no, name is. Right. Don't call me white girl. Exactly how it sounds, but put two e's into me because okay. I'm ducking the white man. Got okay. You. Um, and you get the link in my bio. You'll find all my stuff. I have a podcast out. Guess what it's called? Don't, Don't call, call me white, white girl. girl. Okay. You can check me out everywhere you listen to podcasts. And the YouTube is on something or rather. Just type it in, bitch. Put a little effort into it. I'm funny as fuck. Okay. When I come to your town, come out. 
That's that. Period. Period. Well, thank you so much yes, for coming on. Yes, it's a great right episode. Um, the people have been waiting for this now. Yo, I'm ready to sing it. this song. I'm excited. Because this is me one of my... Too. No, not one and of my favorite songs. And it's some up north kind of shit. Where, wait, where me see from? Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, yeah she's from that's up north. Up north so we... I love this song. Honestly, this is probably my favorite song. I'll go is out. It? Yeah, I, I learned this song at a very young age. I knew I always wanted a BDB. And she was talking about BDBs. This song is about BDBs. It, it is. is. Does she like B- Big Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. She does. I think she does. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> everybody, uh, everybody. You know what? We are not gonna disrespect the no, queen. No, not. So fuck it. I was just saying. All right. Everybody, take y'all. Si- y'all ready? ready here. You you ready for your part? Yeah. Cause you starting it out. <clears throat> this is what I've been waiting on my whole <laughs> life to say this shit. <laughs> this is for my ghetto motherfuckers. Uh uh. Acapella? Uh, yeah. We got to. Uh, These niggas crazy. Uh, uh, hit it. Escobar, CBR bikes. I'm switching gears. Headlight. Your shots are bright. Bitches freeze like this. Them fiends want that D boy. Fast city decoy. Pack that heat boy. Put you where you rest in peace boy. Get your mama's house shot up. Bodies all chopped up. When them bodies pop up, I ain't getting locked up. My Billy cruise the block with the sun rooftop. Hooray. Jumping on my jock because I pull up the spot. Crushing your bins. Crushing your navigator system. My QB peace, man. Y'all niggas suck your shit in. It's not they in your rockin'. area. Queen's about to tear it up. Brave hearts are scared of us. Real niggas, they be us. What's your name? Cause I'm impressed. Can you treat me good? I won't settle for less. You a hot boy. Hot boy. A rock boy. <laughs> a fun toy. Told a clock boy. Where you live? Is it by yourself? This nigga's Can I move with you? Do you need some help? I cook boy. I give you more. I can't I'm a fly girl. Shit. And, and I, I like, like those. those. Hi, boys. Baby, Baby, you got it. what I want. See, cause y'all be loving like lesser jeans and the BNGs and the Lincoln jeans. Like the cheap <laughs> with the platinum visas. Hi, boys. Oh, That's Baby, loyalty. you got it. What? That might be dumbass loyalty. See, cause y'all be grabbing Jaguars. Stupidity and, and loyalty. And the wrong laws playing hard balls with the platinum visas. Is that No, we're cool? not doing it. It's time yeah. to go to e I was... The SK8. No. You only take them thugged out, slightly bugged out, with his tongue out. Know the job ain't getting done. To, to the, the body's bell. getting drugged out. out. Hot boy, keep me right. Play yeah. your part, keep it tight. What else you gonna be in the middle of the night? But up in the streets with me, all yeah. right? Gangster, true to your gang, street master. Yeah. You the only one when when it's beef, street blaster. Huh. Ain't afraid to stop a can. Yeah. Plus, pop yeah. a can. Huh. Soldier cash, money, money. for your world. Yeah. What's happening there? Huh. Huh. 5430. Yeah. Keep me on my toes. Get a tingle in my spine. What's my? Only he knows. He's a hot boy. Boy, miss it, sing it out, and I'ma spin it. Broke riders screaming loud, Daddy, is you with it? If your team can handle my bitches, then we gon' ride. Brick house stallions, keep thugs open wide. Illadel's best, yeah. easy, easy, take, take a, a minute, minute, mess with many. But if he ain't the realest, I ain't with, with it, with it. Mommy, what's the deal? Lay no heat, fuck I'm beyond oh, this nigga won't let oh, nobody get apart. Nobody can I ain't got you for one motherfucking ad lib. Ain't nobody Damn. never. <laughs> The I fuck? Never. Turn your fucking Leon no. down, nigga. <laughs> if I can't, my dog again. Turn I'm David Brooker. I can't even get a. I can't hey, get my shit on. I can't see you out. We from Philly. I'm E with Eve. I've got this nigga on. Oh Hot boy. I said, damn. <laughs> that remind me of this push that shit out. Ready. Push that shit out. Oh, it's hard out here for a pill. <laughs> we ain't to These get bitches them. crazy. They ain't say none of that. I said we gonna do. They gonna do. They ain't say nothing about karaoke. <laughs> I told Shit. you. We went through the part. And she a best friend. Hot boy. <laughs> what I want. She get right into it. You know you ain't want to do that. <laughs> say <laughs> no at the next meeting, nigga. No. This is very serious. The fuck. Damn, you love this bitch for real. Hi, boys. Y'all look crazy as shit up here with that no music. Put them, and then I know they fuck with you because they in the back like this. Soon as you start rocking, this nigga going. This is, this for is my crazy. Motherfuckers. This is for my ghetto motherfuckers. Listen, that's where no. I draw the line. Sorry. That's it. I only got into it because you was trying to battle. That's it. Tahir. The fuck is going on? Oh. As soon as we start singing, he do be back to the poppy. Damn. <laughs> you love your motherfucking best friend. Damn, I'm glad you said that because I want people to know she it is always you into that bullshit. I'm always tired. This is... Uh, 
<laughs> we have to come with this is my favorite segment <laughs> this is my moment to get the out. motherfucker had it queued up from the beginning Mona. I kept seeing Missy with the spice <laughs> Mona it's so funny because in the past when she first used to sing people used to always be like Drea hate this part <laughs> she never want to sing and now it be so funny because they be so happy I be joining in oh, but it was not my fault you it did was not an amazing idea. job boy she, <laughs> lo- but she but loves you Mona what I do hot boys <laughs> <laughs> but how long? Baby, you got You done played the fucking background for hey, shit. I'm not gonna lie, that was a good performance though. <laughs> that was one of our best ones. Was my face red? <laughs> you did my wind. I smoked my wind was red. fucked up. Y'all didn't get me ready. I couldn't listen to that shit. This nigga don't only play 90s music. We could have got ready for that. Oh man. my god. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning <laughs> in. And that's Lil Mo too, right? Yeah, that's a good song. That, that was a good one. Every day, all day. Yeah, that was the part we forgot. Cause you didn't let me keep going. <laughs> they are confident. Y'all didn't let me keep going. These niggas are. Y'all got it. I like it here. Baby, <laughs> you got it. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. See? <laughs> she don't, don't let her front to you. She like that shit. Black. <laughs> You're a bully and you made that girl do that shit. <laughs> but you, listen, no. you got this nigga trained. Hot boy, she better she not. She, she was talking shit like, girl, hey, this is some bullshit, exactly. Hot <laughs> boys. No, that's my point. Hey, <laughs> they fucked me up the most, the headphones. <laughs> like, she's really spitting bars. That's not shit. That's crazy. I'm out. That's crazy. Are y'all coming right over? Yes. I gotta we get this girl to